Sorry, I'm a gathering. Hello, uh, I everybody. Yes, and I'm talking. <laughs> you thought I was going to, what? I can't mute just, until just you not start. Talk. Okay, well, wait a minute. Now I'm waiting for my YouTube. Right. We're on. Whenever you're ready, girl. It's doing it again. Ah, Linda Low Budget. Again. Never fear, Linda Low Budget. Even with new internet, it still does it. Anyway, hello, Sean. How are you? I'm fine, Linda. Good afternoon <laughs> to good. you. Good afternoon good. to everybody in the, in the, in, uh, who's yep, come to watch us this afternoon. And hello to everybody in the chat. Thanks for joining us. Yep, we got Becca and Alice. And Alice, you got a spanner now, so. And Di. Hi, Diane, honey. Uh, Jinxie, uh, Magnolia Studios. Hello. Glad to see all you guys. And Jax. Glad to have you. Anyway, I'm. Hi, Neverly. I'm going to wait for a little people to come in here, Sean, before you start. But yeah, I'm going to okay. let people know That's that cool. yeah. we're going to be talking about some things that everybody talks about, but they don't really publicly put it out there. Or if they do, they get ridiculed for it. Let's just say this. Sorry, not sorry. Okay? That's how I feel. If you don't care for it, you don't have to watch. Okay? But we're just very bl blunt, uh, opinionated, and we're just going to be honest about it. And what we see happening i'm not going to spoil it hi sammy so um and neverly beautiful neverly um so we are going to be uh, and and you guys are more than welcome in the chat to join in fact i encourage you to if you have something you want to say i will put the link in and you can come on up here okay because i can put 10 people up in here with me <laughs> and i ain't afraid neither hey jay how you doing so let me get a link and just put it up there in case somebody is daring enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Abandon you know. hope, all ye who enter here. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep. Hi, BB. <clears throat> okay, guys, there we go. That is to join. And, of course, if I see bare asses, you ain't coming up. <laughs> shine on here. That's for sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> no porn. <laughs> we ain't going to have the... That kind of a oops, surprise things. So anyway, I got to know you to do it. But anyway, Sean, if you want to just take the soapbox, you go okay, right in. Sure. I'm yeah. Mute and let's pleasure. go to it. I would like to start this afternoon by bringing up the the subject of Bob Sadik. Now, everybody in a lot of in a, I'm a moderator on several channels, and in a lot of the channels that I kind of operate as a moderator, I see lots of people coming into the live chat and they are very quick to jump on Bob Tadic's back, insisting that either she knows something that might help with the release of Stephen and Brendan or that she might have some influence over Bobby or Scott. Now, I don't think for one moment that any of this pressure on Barb Tadic is reasonable, not in any way, shape or form whatsoever. Mm -hmm. If people cannot get it into their heads that after the 15 years that Brendan has been in prison, Barb Tadic has never come forward and spoken about anything that she is supposed to know about. People yep. think that she's got all of this information tucked away in her brain. Any man, woman or child, who believes for a moment that a mother would leave her son languishing in prison for a life sentence for a murder that he didn't commit, and she's got information that might help free him, do you think that woman's going to keep quiet? Really? I mean, there's no mother on the planet that is going to sacrifice their Any child. One. Either one. That's never going to happen. No. Nope. Never in your life. It's never going to happen. Uh -uh. I don't believe for a moment that Parb Tzaddik has any information whatsoever 
that would be instrumental, useful, That's or right. anything else in the case to try to get Stephen and Brendan out of prison. I There's agree. nothing that she could tell us today that we don't already know. That's right. People, uh, I think people are looking at Barb as though she's an easy target. She's just someone that they can vent their anger at, have a bash at. Yeah. Barb knows this. Barb knows that. Barb knows more I think than they she's forget she's human. It's okay. bullshit. It doesn't yeah. exist. Right. If she had it, she would have done something about it before Okay, I'm going to throw something at you. She lied. That's what you always hear. She lied. So what? Did she lie? Tell me. Steve? Look, I, you know? One moment. Apart from Stephen and Brendan, tell me someone in this fucking case who hasn't lied. Right? Okay. I don't believe for a moment that a mother would leave her son in prison if she thought she had any kind of information that might help get him released. There's yeah. no way. It's never going to happen. I, I don't believe it either. My second point, anyone who thinks that Barb Tadic has got any kind of influence or control over either Bobby or Scott, if, right. it's just not. Uh -oh. It's, it's, it's going. not going to happen. <laughs> you're freezing or I'm... I'm not. Am I freezing? I'm not freezing. I think you're frozen. Anyway, it's not going to happen. There's no way that Barb has any influence over Bobby or Scott. If she did have any influence over either of them, they would never have lied on the stand. That's right. So people need to get it into their heads. 15 years down the line, Barb Tadic looks like an easy target to all the haters. Right. And, you know, Barb, Tad, Barb, in my view, just hasn't got the balls, if you like. She's been under so much pressure on after all uh, for all of these years. She's been under so much pressure. She's been crushed to the point where she's probably beginning to lose the will to fight. All right. Now, I don't think that there's anything that she could say to anyone that's going to make either Bobby or Scott come forward and give any information that they might or might not have. Yeah. It's, 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 it's just not think, reasonable yeah. to think that she has any kind of control over that. The message right. that I want to pass over to all of those people out there in fucking YouTube or internet land, leave Barb alone. Right. She's, She's a had victim. Enough. Yeah. She's a mother. Yeah. All of this pressure that you are putting this woman under is driving her into a hole in the ground. That's right. It needs to stop. That's There's right. nothing that you can do that is going to make her come forward with anything. She doesn't have it's, anything. It's, 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 what did you know? It's not going to happen. That's Forget right. it. Leave right. the woman alone. That's right. She suffered enough. That's right. It needs to stop. Every day she... Listen. We saw in Making a Murderer the conversation that Barb was having with Brendan when Brendan phoned. Oh, yeah. Scott was sitting in the living room watching the television. Yeah. Screaming, ah, oh, get off the fucking phone. Ah, oh, put the phone down. If you think that that's any different to any other day in that household, you yeah. need to think again. Barb is the only one who suffers. Mm -hmm. She suffered enough and she needs to be left alone. That's right. If you can't get that through your thick head, then you need to get out of this game yeah. because you're not in this for the right reasons and you're not helping. That's right. All of this pressure is counterproductive. It's yeah. just more fucking red herrings and it serves no purpose whatsoever. Right. Leave right. the woman alone. Now, I yeah. do want to say 
cool. thing, you got you to gotta address the newbies who might think like we did, you know, oh, why wasn't the mother there? Why wasn't the mother there? We have years behind us, but we are trying to save them people that anger by saying to them, she knows nothing, correct? That's what you're trying to say, right? So you, yeah, I just wanted to make that aw you aware that there are newbies here that are going to feel the same way we did when we first seen Brendan. Why wasn't his mother in there with him? Now, I never blamed Barb. I thought, I've always thought Barb was railroaded, especially when I heard her and Brendan talking on the phone when he was in jail and he asked her what inconsistency meant or inconsistent meant. I knew right there and then them are just simple people. They're just trying to do whatever they can, right? But the new people are going to go down these rabbit holes. But we're not hearing that from new people. We're hearing it from people who have been in this community yeah. for a very long time. People who should know better. And have done better. supposed research. And they cannot come up with any document saying anything legally they could get Brendan out. Or that okay. she's done to put him there. It's all right? hearsay. Yeah. And it's all bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, what we do know is that in the very first days of the investigation, and I'm talking about from the point where they lifted Brendan out of school, yeah? yeah. yeah. Barb was on the phone to Brendan every day. Mm -hmm. Barb was back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. One minute she believed Stephen was guilty, then she believed he was innocent. Then the yeah. police are going back to them saying, oh, no, Stephen and Brendan are fucking guilty. So... Yeah. Then she's beginning to think that they're guilty again, and then she, they're not guilty again. She right. doesn't know whether she's coming or going. She's torn up. She's she being fed you know? with so much bullshit from so many people, and poor Brendan is stuck right in the middle of it. Now, yeah. the lad's intellectually is 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 learning disabled anyway. Is you know you can see, you can call him what you does. like. All yeah. right. Yeah. He he was. They fucked him over. They sure did. And what well, the other thing that we've learned in the meantime is that during all of the day, Weger got up and stood on the sat on the stand, and he said, "We gave Barb every opportunity Lie. to come in and join what was the join the, the interviews." What we know now is that Weger and Fassbender actually waited for the opportunity. When Barb was due in divorce court, yeah, right. Yeah. So she wouldn't have been able to have joined Brendan during the investigation. Right. So they fucked Barb over in pretty much the same way they fucked Brendan over. Yeah. Anyone who thinks that Barb was given an opportunity, as as she should have been, to come in and join that conversation, you can forget that shit. Any decent it, cop would have called the mother and said, we want to talk to your son, right? Like but, she did with right. Brian or whatever, whatever, one of the ones, Blaine or something. That is because they weren't getting anything from that kid. And they knew that right from that car ride. So they couldn't do anything. So Barb was there. You know what it is, is they wanted to destroy the family. And what we're, what these people are still doing is destroying, the, keeping it going. They are You're continuing. Being just like the they law. are yes, they are continuing the work that Weger and Fassbender yes. started by driving wedges between the family. Yep. Right yep. now, you can we see know, the pain in Barb's eyes. You can see it. You can see it. She had to work. She had kids. She was raising. She was going through a divorce. Her brother was going back to jail. Think of all those things that was going on in her life while this was going on with her son. And I she believe, couldn't miss work. Her work would have fired her. We all seen I, that. Yeah, I believe wholeheartedly yeah. that they took every opportunity that they could to keep Barb out of that interview room. Yep. And we see that from the first Hi, video Alice, recorded sorry, interview <laughs> when when Brendan was telling his mum, pardon me, oh, well, they got into my head. Yeah. Bang. Quick as lightning. They're back into that room. Back, Yes. And they're disrupting the connection between Barb and Brendan. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then Barb had to leave the room again. Now, they told Barb there's going to be some pretty horrible stuff in here that you don't want to listen to. 
because it's really gory, it's really yeah. horrific. Yeah, we she know didn't think it was coming from her son's mouth. She thought it was them gonna tell him something. I think I do believe that that she was thinking my son ain't gonna talk like that. He don't talk like that. We know that yeah. Fassbender and Wigger are a pair of fucking liars. Yes, sure. Now, are. when you look at the, when you oh look, Alice, <laughs> when when you look at Brendan's trial. The making, of, the making of murderer team actually focus on Barb sitting in the public gallery, right? You can see the look on Barb's face. She knows that they stood up on that stand and they're fucking lying through their teeth. Right. She was fucked over pretty much the same way that Brendan and Stephen were, right? Yeah. Wigger and Fassbender lied through their teeth. Yes, they did. And they did everything that they could to keep Barb and everybody else right. away from Brendan until they got what they needed. Once they had what they needed, it didn't matter anymore. That's right. right? It, listen, if they'll do that to a 16-year-old kid, you don't think they're going to do that to his mother? Well, to leave you me alone. Me? Leave you me alone. Fucking hell, of course they will. <laughs> they didn't yeah. give a shit. They certainly didn't give a shit for the rules. They yeah. didn't give a shit for the procedures or the protocols care about or anything else that should have been followed. Yeah. The truth, justice, and none of it. They're full of shit. Yeah. Now, They're evil. anyone who goes pressuring Barb is just carrying on the work of uh, the, yes. and managed to work and all the rest of it, yeah? It yes. needs to fucking stop. Yes. All you're doing, look, let me put it like this. Every day Barb goes home, you can bet your life that Scott has been everywhere online looking to see what the haters are writing on YouTube and Reddit and all the other places. Who do you think is going to cop the shit end of the stick for that? Barb. She yeah. has to go home from work every day of the week and face that shit. Now, That's none cool. of us know what goes on underneath that roof between no. scott and bob we don't do. you think a lot of pressure is on them and that's hard to keep a marriage together with that too you got kids in prison and brothers in prison and cops following you and watching you and saying shit to you and right. you know i mean there's all there's it didn't just stop when they went to jail it no, has no. gone on every single day since the day they started to tag steven as the killer Okay. That's As exactly a, yes. right. Hi, Alice. Yeah. I'm not going to ignore you this time. He was just on a roll and I didn't want to. Sorry, Alice. Alice. Oh, 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 you got to oh, let Alice. him go. Yeah. Keep Alice. going. Alice. You're echoing. You, oh, no. <laughs> my computer's being a deck. Oh, just turn off the YouTube and listen to if you mute, StreamYard. If you, yeah. If you mute the YouTube, you'll be. Yeah. Okay. You, can, you can still hear us in here. Yeah, I think so. But so I, I know, know Alice, she's fired up like you, but you go ahead, Sean. I'm not trying yeah, to interrupt you. I just wanted to no, this time. Yeah. I just, I, you know, all of this pressure that you're putting on Barb under, yeah. she yeah. goes home. She's not just getting this pressure from everybody online, she's getting this pressure from Scott. We all know that Scott can be a bit of a bully. So, oh, no. any, you know, and Barb, unfortunately, under that house, under uh, in that household, Barb is the whipping boy. She's going to yeah. suffer all of the yeah. anger, all of the hatred, all of the vitriol that Scott and everyone else. It's all being directed at Barb. Mm -hmm. You yeah. cannot imagine the grief, the okay. pressure, and and the distress that that woman has to live with on a daily basis. Oh, I can't. It's got to stop. Yeah, it does. And I'm I telling agree. everybody out there, I'm not mentioning any names, yep. but I'm telling everybody out there, it mm -hmm. needs to fucking stop. Start yeah. acting like a fucking adult. You yep. think you're smart researcher, yeah? Do your fucking homework. Look at your own mothers. Imagine how your mothers would feel if it was you in Brendan's position. There you go. Fucking stop the abuse. There you go. Because it is. It's abuse. It has become abuse. Grow up. Develop a pair of bollocks. 
and get on with your fucking lives. Yeah. If yeah. you can't do anything but uh, abuse people, fuck off because yeah. you're no they, good. I mean, you're not helping deal? and you're just making yourself look like a cunt. That's right. So how would it. they feel, Wiz? How would you feel if somebody was coming at you every day and accusing you and speculating about everything in your life when they don't have a clue because they're not walking in them shoes? And it's wrong for you to say, oh, well, but this, but that. You don't know. You only know what the state tells you. And Barb has got enough respect for her son and her family to keep whatever family parts they can keep private private like a party or a birthday but i don't think it's anything legal i'll tell you that right now she does not know anything i've said that for years okay and i know a lot of people have felt this way you got to understand she's just as much of a victim if not more she's lost her son okay her baby yeah, her brother right think and about her brother in it you know that's enough it's I stop. I'm, yeah, you know I'm, stop. I'm with you i'm with you 100%. anyone who thinks that she's gonna she's gonna be able to bring anything forward. You're she fucking mad. It. She would have did it. She, she would have want her son out of prison. I no think way. she'd stick herself in there first before she would let him be fucking in right. Absolutely you know? right. That's yeah. right. She'd uh, definitely that, stick her fucking husband. Annoying. She'd stick her husband in there too. So don't get that wrong, because he's not her blood. Okay, he she chose to be with him. So think about that one. She would throw his ass in fucking prison too before her son. Guarantee. None of us know what goes on under that roof. That's right, and it's and none I'm, of our business. I'm under no illusions whatsoever. Right. When Scott has a bad day, he comes home. And he unloads on Barb. We don't know. We really well, don't know. You're I'm, you're you're assuming. I'm speculate, yes. But I admit, you know I'm what? Barb might do the same thing to him. But that's none of our business. That's their marriage. It has nothing to do with this that's case. Right. And that's I don't exactly think people should right. be talking about it or passing rumors about it or even thinking they know about it unless you're a fly on their fucking kitchen window and you see him 24 hours a day. You don't. So don't assume. You know, we all talk about tunnel vision, tunnel vision with the cops. Well, these right. people are down a rabbit hole. They don't see the path to the next rabbit hole. And they've got tunnel vision, too, blaming Barb. When I don't believe for one second that anybody in that family, and I'm going to say it, I have to, you have to go where evidence leads you, okay? They say Bobby is involved. I have personally, myself, not seen anything that makes me think that he would do that. And now, maybe I'm a little all for the family. But if evidence shows me, and if there are facts that show me that that, I will be fine with that because I want the truth. I don't, if for, no, for one second, would I ever protect somebody that I think has done something to put these two guys in prison? Right. There's no way. I will admit, I'll tell everybody now, when I first watched Making a Murderer, I thought to myself, if I was Brendan's parent, wild horses a fucking army yeah. would never have kept me out of that interview room. Right. What I've learned since then, has so, and, and I'll admit, at first, after watching that, I yeah. was thinking to myself, do you know what? I've got one or two questions that I think Barb needs to answer. There, You know, there's something not right about this. I have learned since those that since then and i'm talking i've been in this now nearly six years i was five long enough anyway a long time <laughs> i've learned enough now to know that actually barb was manipulated wigger and fassbender they fucked around with the timetable they chose their moments yep. and they selected times when they knew that barb wouldn't be available to come in and join Brendan. Right. Okay. So right. they fucking manipulated her the same as they've manipulated everybody else. And if you yeah. think that they got up in court and spoke truthfully, I'll oh, fuck off. I can't talk to you now. <laughs> <laughs> Real life's calling. No. <laughs> fuck off. Alice, you'll get your chance, honey. Don't worry. I'm your if dad. you thought they were being honest when they told the court that they gave Bob every opportunity to come in and join the conversation, you must be mad. Why would they tell the truth about that when they've lied about everything else? Right. It's not it's calculated true. what they did. Very calculated. They fucked her over. It's yep. got to stop.
It has to stop now. Right. Right. Like Kim says, they were listening to, she was listening to Earl's and pressuring and manipulating and sneaky, being sneaky with him too. So they, they would go to any, if they'll take a learning disability, language learning, I'm not going to call him disab, you know, because he's not, he has a problem understanding too much words. It, it confuses them. And I get that way myself. So whatever, if you're going to take a child out of school, and make him, when he says, um, toes, and they say foot, leg, right, Alice? Ain't that what they did? Alice is not here now. She yep. left us. <laughs> okay, all yep. right, listen. So can well, I, they'll do that. Can I, can I just say, right I'm going to take, this is, a, this is actually an important phone call. Right so in. I'm going to take two minutes to grab this phone Good, call. Good, I'll let Alice I'll let you two now. ladies chat for a couple of minutes. I'm going to mute my mic, and I'll be right back, okay? Yeah. That's Love you. That's good. And like I said, if they're going to take a child who has a learning disability out of school and add more to what he is saying, then they will do anything. And family, they wanted him broke up. They wanted him not to be together because what happens when you divide, you conquer over, correct? But Alice, go ahead. Your turn. Do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I was exactly the same. When it get when it came to first watching it, my my mm -hmm. first thoughts um, when I seen what was happening with Brendan was where the fuck is Barb? Why yeah. was she not in the interviews? If that I think every me, mother felt that and way, that Alice. Was my son. Yeah, yeah I, I, I would I have do. been battering doing doors. I would have done this and I would have done that. But i've been on yeah. this about what two years or something now so i am still quite a bit a learner but because of the people that i speak to because of the papers and the documents and things like that that i've read yeah. it is a completely different story um, it is. i mean a lot of people say that we, we have been duped by the documentary no we fucking haven't we watched a, a documentary we took that this is the documentary from that documentary. We went, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Linda. They, exactly. they cracked a window we, for us to look in. Yeah. And we said, hell with that. Yeah. Open it up and let's check it out. You know, they're the ones that Aye. did that. And I was Aye. like you when I, I'm a mother. You're a mother. And in my state, yeah. Minnesota, right next to Wisconsin, you cannot interrogate a child without their parent. So that wouldn't happen here. I say that, but it has happened. Just like when you say the UK would never let that stuff happen and look. No way. And Jody, never. Right? Never. Yeah. It yeah. could not happen. But since Under Luke the... and Jody, not now. No, but no, I'm but not not talking about Luke and Jody. Okay. So yeah, when you, I'm just nine. using examples as we all say that wouldn't happen. That's just like us saying we would not do that. But we have never been in those shoes. So you do I, not really know what you'll do. Talking no. to Jason Strong, who was wrongfully convicted on a confession, okay, of killing a girl. He confessed. And he's a big guy that said, I'll never do that. He said on Tracy's channel saying, I would never do that in a million years, million years would I ever do that. But he ended up doing it. So yep. who... Who the hell knows what you would do in that situation unless you're yeah. actually in it, okay? Yeah. I know what I'd like to do. I know yeah. what I would like my mind to tell me to do. And and I can sit there and say that, but I do not know what I would do unless I'm ex in that situation having whatever was put on them happen to me. Yeah. But, I mean, you know? as you dig deeper in here, though, Linda, as we were saying, we did yeah. just – Go watch this documentary and then all of a sudden give it all either be right. innocent. We right. looked and it. We followed up on things. We spoke to people. And you can clearly see when you look in it and you go to the right avenues and you get the truthful information, not the disinformation yep. that is flying about that is supposed to be the same community and fighting for the same things and the same justices and everything like that, when they're no, they're not picking and they're picking and choosing what they want to hear and picking yeah. and choosing what information they want to soak in. That's right. not how you, you should approach this. You have to approach it with an open mind and look at it for all sides. If and they say Bobby did it, did it and they and show it, me proof, I'm going to go, hey, okay, yeah, Bobby well, did it. it 
when it comes to the fucking, when it comes to the Bobby thing, I'm like yourself. I don't want to think for one minute that anybody in the family has had anything to do with this. I, for I one, Barb's a mother. She's not right. going to let her youngest son rot in fucking prison for something he didn't do if no, she, did, if she had any them. information. You yeah, know what I mean? That was her family. baby. Hey, let's I just mean, say, there's researchers son, here. You think son, that any of us who are so passionate about this would let one little word if it had to say Barb did this and it really is legal and it made him go to you think we'd let that go? No, you really honestly, no, absolutely not. But no, in 15 years, be. nobody's found shit except That's for that. their opinion, their yes. opinion of what she should have did. Sorry, yeah. you weren't in her shoes, motherfucker. Yeah. You were not right. there. Exactly, what? exactly. So when right. it comes to the Bobby fucking thing, just because Kay's, this witness has came forward, now this has not came from KZ. KZ never said, you know, she's taken the words of this witness, and this witness has said that they have they seen Bobby pushing the car. I could say, so I seen wizard pushing the fucking it. car. It's a it was me. It was me, it was me you, wizard. It was I swear me. I seen you. It was you and Alice it. were doing it. it. it if I said that to Casey, she would have to, you. You know, she would have to believe me. You know, she would have to believe me. She would have to believe me. Oh, you would be the six bad. foot one wizard because yeah. I'm a wee short arse anyway. So it was me <laughs> and you that pushed that rabble oh, that way. I and if I signed a day, and if I signed an affidavit stating that, that's I'm right. the guy Swinsky saw. There you go. There you go. It was me. Yeah, exactly. I put my hands up to it. It's <laughs> yeah. a exactly. Get me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. If somebody and, said, if I said that you two did it and I signed an affidavit, right now they they would have to take that as word. Okay. Yeah. That is <laughs> you until you prove me wrong, Wizard and Alice did that shit. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. the way it is. That, exactly. I mean, that's all she has to do. And everybody seems to forget it. They say, oh, my God, I knew he did it. Yeah, I knew I, it. I knew it. I knew it. Yep. And they just yep. don't get off of it. Oh, but that no one way. thing does not go together with every fucking thing no. else. Now, remember, no. Brendan, just words, goes to no show. evidence. That just but, goes to show the short-sightedness yes. of some people. They're yeah. reading more into something. Yeah. You know, you got to stop reading between the lines. A right. look at the actual script. That's okay. right. Okay. Now, right. going back to where I was going about Go the right dishonesty of Uyghur and Fassbender, I'd like to raise a very important point here that not many people might be aware of. Okay. And I'll start with this. In 2005, Wisconsin brought in new legislation regarding the interview and interrogation of juvenile yep. suspects in police custody. That law became effective on the 1st of August, 2005. Uyghur and Fassbender were required in compliance with that legislation to undergo training so that they could fit within the guidelines of that legislation. They had to be trained to be able to comply with that law before they could interview any juveniles in custody. Now, in 2006, I saw online copies of two certificates. One of them was for, was for Mark Weger, and one of them was for Tom Fassbender. They attended training courses at a college who were approved to provide this compliance training. And the certificates that I saw were completion certificates Two where they, first. the person who was responsible for providing that training signed off saying that they had completed satisfactorily the training required that allowed them to operate under the new legislation. They were counted, both those certificates, one, each certificate was signed by the person providing the trainer, the training, and the person receiving the training. Mm -hmm. So there was two signatures on each certificate, one by the trainer and one by a Uyghur, and on the other certificate, 
won by Fassbender. They're saying now, each after other's... after the trial, after the trials, t- t- Tom Fassbender went on national TV on Dr. Phil, and he yeah, quoted, right. and I quote, it's not my job to assess IQ. Right on. He yep. fucking lied to the whole of America. He has yes, received he training in how to make those assessments on the spot. He, right. It was his job. It was his responsibility. As part of the Ray Brendan, Reed technique, what he, he was taught. should have said, yeah. he should have said, we, Brendan is not fit to be interviewed right we need an appropriate adult he needs a lawyer he needs a parent he needs something like that right tom yep. fassbender went on national tv and fucking lied to the world yes that it did. wasn't his fucking job well That's he's right. a lying bastard because it's a I've technique seen, i've seen know. those i've seen yeah. those certificates where he has signed off saying that he has had training Right. To make that assessment. Yeah. So for him to go up and say, it's not my job to assess IQ. He's is a liar. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullets. And you know what? America fucking swallowed it. Yeah. They right. took it. They accepted it. Right. Okay. Well, how, you know, I'm sorry. I, I, I agree because uh, read technique is to be used on adults. Okay. Not on children. Okay? The it technique. is for adults. And it's only to be used to that extreme that they did the brain and the adding and all that other stuff that they do to it. Unless you, you have evidence that says this person was there so you can get them to tell you the truth, but it fails in more ways than ever. There's uh, something called the peace technique. Now I really not have not looked into it. I guess the European, European, I was just going to say the European countries do that. And what that is, is they say, okay, can you tell me what your day is? They kind of sit back and let that person tell you the story of their day. And they ask questions within that story to get the truth. Is is that basically what it is? It's not them common same question. They can't like, like they can um, over there, Linda, you've got a suspect in a room and Over over there, the the cops can go into that room and they can and turn lie, and say, "Well, and we've lie. got your DNA and your yep. fingerprints at the scene." Yep. Right. They're not allowed well, to lie in the piece. They're right? not allowed to do that here. They're not allowed to blatantly lie like the that. I mean, they can me. fib. They can say, "Oh well, a witness saw you there," or right. but they can't blatantly say. I don't think that. We found your fingerprints at that scene, you know right. what I mean? Like they can in well, America, which I think is so wrong it, that the it, cops over me, here can get away with that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is the the peace technique is the, let them tell you the story, correct? That's right. You're, yeah. Basically, you don't yeah. add I mean, to it, I you don't, don't suggest, you I take what know. they say and ask on that basis of what they say to you, right? I and here in the read technique, we can tell them anything. Right. Now, the read technique, people need to understand the read technique is designed to elicit a confession. It has got absolutely fuck all to do with finding the truth. Right. They don't care whether they're innocent or guilty. The read technique is about beating a confession out of somebody with language technique. That's all it is. They could have the most, they could have, they could have St. Peter sitting in that chair. Yeah. They will, they, their job is to get a confession out of St. Peter. Yeah. Right? They yeah. can't I, tell me it's got fuck all to do with truth because it hasn't. I agree. It's, it's got to be a Did I kick Alice out? No. I won't. hope not. I hope not either. Alice, if I, if I accidentally knocked you out because I was trying to type, you come right back in. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I was typing. I can have six people up here, so I'll put the link in there. If you want to get up and get your bitch out, you go right ahead because Sean's doing a good job of it. But this is yeah, see, I'm I did fucking not right. Um, um, you know, you know what? You know what was you and me have talked about this many, 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 many times in Discord. We have went over this. We have talked about it, and and one of the things is why 
hit. What is what? What do you say? Beat a dead horse? Is that what you always say? Flogging uh, a dead horse. Yeah. 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 Flogging a dead horse. Flogging and I'm a dead like, horse. You know, it's people talk about it, but I think people are also afraid of getting flack for sticking up for the right thing. And if that's the problem to you, then you are really not in this to support the wrongly right. convicted. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And if you are thinking that <coughs> you're going to make something up or find something and you cannot get your mind off that, you have tunnel vision. You're after one person, just like Ellie was with Steven. You have pointed at Barb. Barb's the one. Barb's the one. Barb's the one. Barb, Barb knows something. Barb, you know what? Show me some facts. We can show you facts that the, the law was lying about Stephen, that yeah. the bullet has wood in it, that that yeah. blood is planted, that the rat rabs. We can show that, but you cannot show me shit about what you're saying about Barb. Right. Except yeah. for what right. you think you can here show the lie. and what you think you might do. But you are not in that position. You've never been in that position. And if you have, I'd like to hear from you because you don't know what she went through. Besides no. trying to raise I mean, four he, kids, go through a divorce, have a new boyfriend, have a job, have a home, have all this shit. And then your son's going and your brother and your family is fighting and getting and they're hating on each other and they're splitting up and they're saying all kinds of shit. Your brother's going back to prison after 18 years and now you might lose your son. You tell me how you handle that one. I'd love yeah. to know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would I mean, love to know because I will tell you something. I consider Barb a very strong woman. For dealing with all this. I consider I'll see, any yeah, mother who son. has been through something yeah, like this, or son. father, or brother, or sister, she's had very strong years, for doing she, this. She's, she's, she's gone through 33 years of this shit, getting up every morning, all I know going into is work, that I've working never with, been there. going to work with people it. who think her brother, her son's guilty. Yeah. What kind of shit do you think that woman You are been just through? as bad every as the Every fucking day. You're for the yeah, last a lot. 33 years. And your narrative about no, her I mean, really, keeping one son the... to not let the other son out, that narrative don't work for me, Ken Kratz. Yeah, and the other one I mean... about her husband, she'll keep her husband out for her and keep her kid in, that narrative don't work either. So, because I'll tell you something, a mother, I'm a mother. I don't give a fuck how much I like that dick, okay? Straight up, that husband, that man, that whatever provides for me, above my children. Never in a million years. Can and I, I don't say. believe Barb would ever do that either. And I don't believe any one of her family members would do that because you can see the pain in every single one of them. Look at my pa Avery, all their old golden years, oh, wanting their fun. son, they're, they're, having they're... that. Now Ma Avery doesn't have no memory. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. She don't even, if Stephen got out tomorrow, she wouldn't even she remember. Might not recognize do you it. know how sad that is considering she was his biggest biggest supporter Man, and Barb is living her mother's life so think Man. about that one if you felt sorry for mama Avery why don't you feel sorry for Barb because she's yeah, living well, the I same mean, damn I was, life I was going to say that though Linda I mean it, Barb's no just went through this with Brendan I mean yeah. Stephen is what 50 yeah. odd year old 54 he is, he's 50, 50, like 58, 57, yeah. 58 yeah. 50, 57, he's living her mother's life that guy has been in, the, in and out of the jail says he was fucking what 22 year old he's 30, and he, he's you know 33 what? years 34 was years a young lass. Yeah. 34 Barb years was a teenager when yeah. this was fucking happening you know what i yeah. mean and this woman has had to put up with us since she was a fucking teenager and it has just doubled yeah. the pressure the 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 thought process everything has all just doubled because okay. now her son is in the same situation yeah. that her yeah, fucking yeah. brother was yeah. put in all the years ago so that woman hasn't just suffered this for the last 15 years this woman has life. suffered this for her fucking 13 years watched her mother right go the through, way it. Fucking through. Yep. and now so, she's going and through she's exactly walking the same, the same path as her mother She's exactly. about that. So if you feel sorry for Mama mom Avery, through. where's your hugs yeah. for Barb? Where's your yeah. fucking compassion for Barb? Because she's walking her fucking mother's path. Yeah. Uh, going back to the bullying aspect of Barb, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to make another point. You go right ahead. <laughs> I've seen on several uh, social media platforms people trying to encourage uh, viewers, supporters, 
whoever to contribute toward Brad Dassey's legal fund. Oh, God. right. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is what I'd just like to say this before you go asking members of the public to contribute towards that man's fighting fund, I would like to suggest that perhaps the people who gave Brad Dassey the platform to spout his evil, vile abuse, maybe they should be the people who cover his legal funds. Don't expect us to pay for a fucking lunatic Boom. who's done nothing but abuse the family. That's right. Go on. Which does what for the case? Who have given nothing. him the platform. Get them to pay his fucking legal bills. Yeah. Don't come to me and don't Army. go to other. Don't don't go to the general public because it's not acceptable. Yeah. How Brad can you Dassey yeah. dug his own fucking grave. Let him find his own fucking way out of it. That's right. That's right. And here's another one. If you're gonna go after somebody who is giving you fucking boyas and shit like this, you want to crowdsource, and you're gonna. Blame that person for stealing the fucking money and stealing money and doing this and that. But you're going to give to a man who bashes his own damn family and wants nothing but, and in fact, thought his brother was guilty for 10 years. Okay. So, you know what? Don't come to <laughs> the truth your world for your lies because you said that Barb attacked you at rally. Guess what, buddy? I was there. I it went up and talked to you. It didn't it happen, didn't motherfucker. Fuck. You're a liar. And You're I wasn't there, but I know it didn't fucking happen. I, and I know was that there. for a fact. I know that for I was a there. fact. Yeah, he's a liar. And it another thing, and happen. another thing is, if you're going to go after somebody who's legitimately wanting money to help this case for all of us, <laughs> and you're going to put them down and give them so much shit that they fucking want to leave the community, well, then why don't you do that shit to Brad when he's begging money off of you for a lawyer for the shit he created? Brad Dessey is a bigger narcissist yeah. than Ken Kratz. Yeah, and if you're say. supporting him, all you're doing is yeah. you're perpetuating the abuse towards the family. Yeah. So well done for that. Yeah. Well done. Good. It does nothing for the case. Would you like so, a paper hat? Yeah. Yeah. Alice, what do you think? She's probably like, oh, shut up, man. Let me talk. <laughs> I'll mute. We can get very passionate in here. So sorry if we are talking over each other. I'm sorry. No, no, I realize it's, 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 it's and we'll stop. It's very close to my heart. Oh, they me too. Never have been for a long time. They should never have taken that boy out of school. Right. They should no. never have questioned him without an appropriate right. adult. They should no. never have beat That's a right. Well, all right. They didn't physically beat a confession out of him. But they nope. might as fucking well have done because in his the boy head wasn't did. in his he head wasn't they did. equipped to deal with the situation. Yep. Yep. They knew that they yep. uh, they manipulated that, and they knew how easy they he was. They extended to, to, on yeah. every word let's, he said. Let's do this. Yeah, let's mold they, him like a lump. They extended with when you read the fucking way they did it, and he says um toes, and he goes um toes. You can just see him being. Um, toes, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and oh and Wigger goes, oh, you seen a foot? A foot turns into a leg? Okay, I seen a piece of her forehead. Oh, you seen her head? Do you know what I'm saying? They add, He was minimalizing yeah. anything he could say to them because he just wanted to tell them something to go away. And they took what he said like this, a grain of salt, and they made it Mount Emerus, Glade, uh, whatever the hell that is. Aye. You know? Aye. They made he it, does. didn't they, Alice? They did, and yeah. But as I was, I was going to say, Linda, that happened even before that interview. We we got yeah. her, we like her, and asked Bender because yeah, cool. it happened. No, it happened at Crivets. Remember, oh, yeah, that's right, we in the went car. through the fucking yeah. transcripts, Linda. We have yeah. read the transcripts yeah. of that interview when that Wayne is locked oh, right. in the back of the fucking right. car. Where they tick, say tick, he can leave tick, at any click, time. Click, 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 oh yeah. no, he can't click, leave at click, any time because the I, doors have got tile lock, locks on them. Yeah, so he was stuck yeah. in the back of that fucking car yeah. when they oh, were so asking. You mean, tell me that your whole class seen that, but you didn't. Now you know, I believe. Exactly. I believe they wholeheartedly. Then that yeah. that was when they could mold that way, and exactly. they went back 
to that exactly. off exactly and they and told I can... what i spend up and yep. why got we've got your man all you need to do is bend push him a, a little bit loud this way, during... push him that way and he will bend to your fucking will and during, that was where they during, got their man during right. that interview of brendan in the back of the police car o'neill was working brendan out from top to bottom yeah i believe o'neill went back to wherever it was that he came from and he said that fucking brendan's as dumb as a box of rocks you can't yeah. get any fucking sense out of him that yeah. boy must be fucking stupid That's now right. they've had they had four months to listen to all of those recordings. They knew how vulnerable Brendan was. They yeah. knew exactly the buttons that they had to push to get him to talk. Brendan is a very introverted, he's just, he's yeah. the most inoffensive person I've ever kind of experienced. Exactly. I've never met the lad. Okay. But he's let's, just, let's he was some, no harm to anybody. Yeah, let's get some of these, um, some of our chat here because there's people really that are passionate as we are. We need to take a breath, have a drink of a cigarette. Alice, you can talk a little bit if you'd want because I can interrupt you. I better want to apologize. <laughs> I'd like to apologize for everybody in the chat. There are many people in the chat who I've not said hello to. And the reason for that, as you know, I always welcome everybody into the chat every time you come on board. I can't concentrate on two things at once. Right. So I'm that's getting, why I'm, I'm doing this. this. Remember, and so I've not, been, right. I've not been paying any attention. Yeah. I apologize to that. Don't yep. take this the wrong way. It's just that I'm, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Do you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you'll have to but forgive I mean, me there, right? Yeah, I mean, we're yeah, well, okay. the, we are still doing the beatings and everything like that, especially – with with Ian Kaczynski and uh, and stuff like that, and gone through these transcripts and actually seeing it in black and white. And I mean, foul play have started doing the voir dire and the the start bad, of yeah. Brendan's yeah. trial. And yeah. oh my fucking god, man! If anybody can listen to that or read right. the transcripts and no get it through their feed, what they were doing to this family. Then they shouldn't be on this fucking case. Right. No, you because that's right. You're you you are just as bad as there. They, I, I, they lied, I've just seen the comment. they cheated, just, and they stole both get their man's lives away from them with the right. fucking shit that they done in their trials. And for right. people to come back and say, Oh, but what about this and what about that? Go and fucking read it for yourself. That's right. Jeff just Jones like says say, there's no physical evidence, Becky. Backing up BD's false confession, Bobby. Uh, just, thank you. I've I've just noticed one or two comments in the uh, in the live chat, and I'd like to refer back to something that Mr. Bob Bailey said about yeah. this being about the land. Anyone who thinks that this whole debacle is about Stephen Avery and Theresa Holbeck, you can forget it. This goes back fucking decades back. and decades and, way high. and decades and way high. They're trying to, they've been trying to get that family off the land for 50, 60 years, possibly more. This could very well be a Hatfield and McCoy situation between Manitowoc and the Averys. They didn't want to destroy Stephen. They want the family off the land. Yeah. This entire situation... It's like about Eagle Nation. Land. It's land. It's property. They want it's, that fucking it's land. Power there's something in the, in about the that land that they want that land. And, and there's power they, in the county. Yeah, well, I mean, the Avery, there's people there's that are afraid simple, of that guy. And uh, your favorite, uh, say his name, Wes. What a scumbag. Kusur, my best mate's Kusur, my best mate Tom, yeah? Kur, yeah. Kusur, Yes. Oh, well, I won't tell you what I think of him because there's, I'm trying. I mean, I'm there's, trying, if you watch, um, Re, if you listen to Wrecking Crew, which I found <laughs> very interesting because Farak says where these, where the Herman brothers come from and what kind of things they've covered up, like deaths from a motorcycle yeah, accident man. or other, you know, accidents. Look at Ricky Oster, Oster case. I mean, that is this is a state thing that goes way up because the first year that Peg was in office, she got drunk driving in a state vehicle and 
that girl, guess what? They had her in their pocket from that moment wow. on. They wow. got something on her. And you only need a little bit of dirt to do a whole lot of yard. You know what I'm in saying? The second, in the second episode of Making a yeah. Murderer Series 1, we see um, we see Stephen's previous lawyer, and she's talking about how the Avery family didn't kind of um, interact with the people in the community. And I'll tell you why. They had their own business. They were self-sufficient. They didn't need anything. They didn't need to ask anybody for anything. They could survive quite well on their own. They made their life on their own. They didn't need the people of Manitowoc. They had their own life. They were quite comfortable. They made their own living. Right. They didn't need anyone. That and that was a problem. Lawyer. That was a yeah. problem for the people in charge of the county. Yeah. Now, I know that the county tried to purchase the Avery plot because they wanted to build a new sheriff's department on that land, or at least wow. that was the excuse. Now, they took the Avery family to court to try to impose what is known in this country as a compulsory purchase order on the land. They wanted to take that land from underneath the Avery's feet. The Avery's went to court, they fought it, and they won. Now, if that isn't going to cause some problems between the Avery family and Manitowoc, think again. We know that Manitowoc yeah. like to hold a grudge. And they've held that grudge against the Avery family ever since they lost the bid to take over that land. This is all yeah. about the land. Yeah, it's like got the fuck all to do. Fields and the McCoys. Right? Thank you. Bang, 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 that, bang. That came and from Wizard, the Hatfields and the McCoys. And that was like a perfect way to put it because that is basically what it is. It goes way that's far what back. It is. It's a family it's a thing and it's grandfathered it's in on everybody else. And they bring you in if they tr can trust you. But first of all, they got to get something on you. So, yeah, that's so right. you hit somebody and but you killed them. But I'll keep it quiet for you <laughs> if you do this for me later on. The only it thing, works that way. The only thing they had against Stephen Avery was a six pack of beer yeah. and a cheese fucking sandwich. And a cheese and sandwich. Get, yeah. And you get all of these pricks on the side of the guilters saying, but he burned a fucking cat. Well, no, he didn't. What? He didn't burn a fucking cat. He didn't even it throw the cat in. in. He, he took the blame not, for somebody who already had not, a record. He did not throw the cat on he the didn't fire. Do that no. is a fact. And the no. man who did throw the cat on the fire has come forward and he There's has a newspaper said, article I did that Jinx showed me. And I was like, right on. And I put it out there. And it's an old thing, but there's a lot of new people here who honestly believe that believe he still did what's that. being said. Okay. Yeah. And just yeah. like they believe, and I'm it, sorry, I'm going to go there, that there's more than one rap. If you do, only, and, you, and I'm wrong. Good for you, but I don't see the complication of it because no, it's too the much. The only reason, yeah, but you, I mean, you've got to put a wee bit more explanation in here. The only reason why it's reported that Stephen did it in the first place right. is because Stephen was going to take the blame for yep. his pal because his pal was on like his third strike or something. Yep, he had like a record. And if yep. you got any trouble again, then that was mean in jail time. So what happened was, is Stephen said that he done it, and that's yep. why it's on record with the polis. But yep. then um, his pal came out and oh, said, wow. no, he didn't do it. It was me Thank that you. done it, and I Thank told you. the polis that it was me that done it, yep. not Stephen. But yeah, they all I like to jump on the bandwagon the and say I that believe he done them. it. I believe the man, the, I, right? I believe the man who threw the cat on the fire. I think yeah. his name was Jerry Yander. He was yeah. one of Stephen's friends. Yeah. He was. He he, was. he 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 is the brother of the man who Barb married. Yeah. Stephen and he were best pals, and mm -hmm. Stephen agreed to take the rap because Jerry Yander was on probation. Yeah. If he got done for cruelty to an animal, he was going to go away. Now, yeah. Steve was already up on charges anyway, so he took the rap for the cat to keep his pal out of prison. Yeah. That is an honourable thing to do 
which most law enforcement people in Wisconsin haven't got the bollocks to even think yeah. of doing themselves right, yeah. because they're so fucking cowardly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, 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 there, the, there has to be, okay. Some people don't understand. Well, how can the cops do this or that to you? Let's look at Deb, the coroner. Okay. She was so scared that she wouldn't do her job. And she had power above the sheriff, above, you know, uh, Peterson. Uh, uh, you know, she was above whoever he was. Was it Peterson or who was it <coughs> back then? Um, she, uh, she was above the sheriff. She could yeah, go Yeah, okay, the sheriff, whoever could, the sheriff was in 2005. She could, she yeah. could arrest the sheriff. She the can put him in jail. She's the only forever. one that can arrest the president. Did you yeah. know that? A coroner yeah. can arrest okay. the president. Oh. Deb at the time. They tested her. They tested her before. Deb Kakach in 2005 was the highest medical officer mm -hmm. in the county of Manitowoc. Official. She was the highest she, official. What, well, no one goes onto a crime scene but, without her permission. Okay, but now so let me say this. When they said conflict of interest... They were only talking she to the sheriff himself, not his people. It's up to him to say, okay, I can't go there and do this, but I don't want any of my men there either because of conflict. Okay. But he didn't do that, but the orders yeah. came for him. Okay. So that's something that was confusing to me, but you know, it's more the rule than it isn't the rule that once the sheriff is asked to back down, none of his men go there either. Do you know what I'm saying? They just, it, it doesn't yeah. happen. But none okay. of them should have been on the property in the fucking right. first place. Right. The only and, one that right. didn't have a conflict right. of interest was yeah. Deborah Kakach. Yes. Yeah, Everybody fine. that was okay. involved yeah. in that case, period, she was yeah. the only one that had no conflict of interest because she had nothing to do with anything that happened in the 85 right. to the yeah. 90s to the 2000s case. She mm -hmm. had no reason not to be called out to that property, That's which right. was her job to be called mm -hmm. out to that property. But because of the shady shenanigans of the, the, the cops and what they wanted to do, they knew that they couldn't trust her because right. they tested That's her right. before with a different mm -hmm. incident. And because mm -hmm. she didn't play ball with that incident, the Ricky they the Ricky knew that she could not be Because she would not, she would not go right. beyond I, the book. She played know by what her rules, now. by her job, by her when, duty, because it when Ricky, when Ricky, when Ricky Hochstetler was, was hit, uh, injured in that hit and run, mm -hmm. apparently it is suggested that he may have actually still been alive when the police first turned yeah, I up. heard that. Now, it turns out that one of the vehicles from the sheriff's department that turn up on site mm -hmm. run Ricky over. Yep. Now, and who's Deb the Kakech other one? Turned, Deb Kakach turned up and they tried to get Deb Kakach to say that Ricky was dead when she arrived and that the car didn't wow. run her over. She refused. Mm -hmm. Now, from that point that. on, Deb Kakach becomes an outsider to the law enforcement community of Manitowoc Sheriff's Office. She's a, she's a liability. She's dangerous. Yeah. She yeah, needs yeah. to be kept at arm's length. Yeah. And when you look at a situation in 2005 where she was prevented from going on to the crime scene, it shows the level of complicity that Ken Peterson had in the case. Okay, They're all see. in this shit up to their eyeballs and beyond. Right. right. They're all as yeah. fucking Let, guilty let's, as sin. Let's get some views from the chat, Sean. You're good at picking out some questions. There's some lot of people are really saying a lot. They're really, and I want to involve them too. And I'll drop the link if you want to come up. Come okay. Up. Jeff Jones, Deb would have Jeff jumped Jones, on, yeah. on Jeb, Jeb, Deb should have jumped on the grenade. But listen, Jeff, she was scared shitless. Yeah, I agree with what you're scared. saying. That's my whole point. But unless you're there on the spot at the time. You can't say that you do But what it. made her scared you was, know, that's what, it's, I want to know if something scares the person has more power over you so bad that you leave your job, what does that tell you about these people? Okay. It also, you if they could take a, a kid that's so young, 
look at the things that they have done and big people bow down to them. Yeah. He's got some kind of power. Yeah. And I think it's a yeah. little bit of dirt to do a lot of road. You know what I'm saying? He only needs a little bit of dirt on somebody and he couldn't get it on Deb. So they made her life so miserable she had to quit. Let me tell you, you something know? about let me tell you well, something about sheriff, many swap sheriffs, right? Go ahead. <laughs> following following Stephen's trial, when the jury was sequestered for their deliberations, yeah. they were supposed to be sequestered. That means no interference from anybody other than a court bailiff. Right. A court bailiff was supposed to be the only person that had any contact with the jury. Well, we know we know that. What the uh, fuck? Jacobs uh, what, was there, right? He, uh, what the yeah. fuck is Pagel doing? Pagel. Delivering fucking pizzas. Going in and saying, oh, yeah, it's all right. You can have a drink. Do you know what? I'll fucking have a beer with you. Yeah. What bullshit is that? That is Even witness, if you didn't that, talk to him, he's a presence. And that is scary jury, to some people. It's in, it's in the UK, we used to call it jury nobbling. It's undue influence or intimidation. It's easier to kill Stephen than it is to frame him. There you go. It's, right. Well, you know. it's That's ridiculous. But you know what, Sean? You just made me have an epiphany. Uh, what is that? An epiphany? A thought. An okay? epiphany. Yes. When Pagel was standing there in that pizza place, whatever, okay, or whoever was with them, delivering pizzas or whatever they were doing, do you not think that maybe the jury was talking and saying, and somebody said to him, you know what, that I, I'm scared to do this because you know what, that person's going to da, 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 <laughs> watch, they're going to watch us, they're going to see, they're going to know who we are. And then all of a sudden they're there, whether they say nothing or not. It's like the mob. They make a presence. You know what I'm saying? You see them. You don't. They don't have to say a word to know what they're thinking while they're looking at you. And you know Bob what I mean? Bailey's like the mob. It's a mob. Bob Bailey's got it exactly right. It's jury tampering. It's intimidation. Yes. yes. Yeah. Now, there were there were relatives of law enforcement officers Please. on that fucking jury. How the fuck could that jury possibly be, be be impartial? when you've got law enforcement members, family members on the jury. There's nothing impartial about that jury. Right. It's all yeah. bullshit. The whole fucking thing was rigged from top to bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It is. With it's one day the <laughs> Wow. The they are a mob. I, mean, I really believe they're a mob. I do. Tom Kosurek is the biggest mafia boss. I mean in Wisconsin, if you are. We ain't going to say how Linda knows how it works, but we know Linda knows how it works. They're the mob. <laughs> they are the mob. Let's just say, their techniques you know, with the people in life, they're, they happen to be someplace where you are, and they and, just don't have to say a fucking word. They send and, messages very clearly. And Tom Kosurek is right at the very top of the tree. Yes. My he is the best mob mate, leader. My, my best pal, Tom. He's the I'll boss. I'll tell you what. Well, give, me as fucking, as, as, give me half an hour with him in a fucking room. I yeah, swear to God. Half an as, hour. As, as That's all Steve, I'd like, yeah? I'd nail Steve, that. I would nail that fucker to a wall. Bye. Bye. My says, if they can break someone as high up as poor Debs, then every other fucker stands no chance. Thank exactly. You. If you exactly. look at, I don't care, like, you know, you want to talk about Scarface being stupid or fucking the Godfather, but some of it's true to life, what mob act, look at the Gotti tapes or whatever, they make a presence, they, they put themselves there in situations like the guys that didn't go to court, because they would show up at dinner, or their brother would show up at court. With the, the guy oh that, you door. know what I mean? So It's bad, you know? Jeff, it, it, that's what they use the same techniques, you Jeff, know, and it's you a can, small town. Jeff, you can come and do security for me any day, brother. What's he say? I can guard the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm I'm really serious. I mean, I always sound like I'm talking out my butt, but it's the same technique. I'm not accusing them of being a, a mob. I don't know, but their technique is of that. It is of somebody's in high power, and you got your little down on down the line. And they just have to be there to make people do things. They don't really have to do. If you're going to make, you're going to take a little kid and throw him in jail. You're going to split up a family and put a man in prison for two, two times 
all of his life for what? Okay, for yeah. what? For some land I mean, or whatever it is, uh, because you think something, then if you attack Barb, Bobby, any of them, you honestly are being just like the fucking law. Hello, Bob. Yeah. Welcome. I mean, it's, it's, it's not that. It, it's yeah. not that. I mean, what is the most? You're going to have to turn off your YouTube, sweetie. Hello, Bob. Hi, Bob. Okay, hang on. It's, it's not that. It, it's not that. The most, yeah. the most craziest thing that I find about the whole situation is that not only were, I mean, as Joris says, why were Colburn and Link on every site where evidence was found and processed? Conflict of interest. But it wasn't right. just on the Avery Salvage Yard. It was in the courtroom. You had officers that were taking the stand to be questioned by the defense and uh, and lawyers and everything like that. They were in the courtroom handing out evidence to witnesses. Now, there is no way in hell that would happen in a court in, in my land. No Never. way in hell. Yeah. If, there, if there was a police that was reported for misconduct and there was evidence, that police would not be in that courtroom or any other officer that was involved be, in the investigation that helped to cover that information. The they would not be allowed in the room or anything like Until that. Never mind handing to evidence, evidence to witnesses. I mean, right. that just baffles my brain that that was even allowed to happen. That is intimidation all right. the way. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Can you I, imagine can if I just say... wanted to stand up and when, if the judge gave him the <laughs> chance and he said, what would you like to say? There is no way that that Wayne was going to say what he wanted to say with the police that he's trying to, you know, they police picked on me. You know what I mean? When they police yeah. are sitting in the same room as them. Yeah. It's just no going to do yeah. it. And That's I don't right. think that is right, that that can happen in a court of law in right. your land, that police can be, police that are accused can hand out evidence to that what disgraceful. It is. Disgraceful. It is. I would just welcome like to Bob. very quickly. I would <laughs> Thank like you, Linda. Welcome, I'd like to welcome <laughs> Bob Bailey to yep. the conversation this yep. afternoon. Yeah, Wizard, afternoon. you're yeah. the reason I came on, because it's of you. I'm... I'm enjoying the hell out of you, man. It's a pleasure to meet <laughs> He's you, mate. Great, I mean, isn't we've, he? we've he spoken is, a little Linda, bit. He's the best. I'm telling yeah. you, I, 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 I've been listening to this guy for a couple of months now, and I we've I've had been, plenty. It, we've had some chats. I, I like wish you, like this. I, I wish like I was you. close oh. enough to have a beer with you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you man. what. I'll pat myself oh. on the back because he Smells was my Twitter brother. friend. And I got him over on this side. I'm getting yeah, a lot of my he, Twitter friends on this side. He a is to uh, you, Bob. He's, Pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. You and I think alike. I, you know what? I have a feeling that didn't one of the sheriffs have a piece or a family member that owned the salvage yard? Yes. Rob uh, Herman. Yeah. The, Rob land, Herman. the land Rob that the Avery's owned is aggregate rich. If you look around the area, an aggregate is Mega, right. mega millions of dollars. I mean, e even the owner of the uh, the, the, the Redan Quarry, Redan Quarry yeah. he wanted that property. Yeah, they all want it. Uh, the uh, the, the uh, there's a county uh, gravel pit the next to it, isn't quarry, there? The county quarry, yeah. the Redan Quarry. They're always yes. using there gravel. Are several They're of them. always building roads. Right. Uh, and De Dolores owns it, not even Alan, but Dolores, right? Correct. De Sean? Well, yeah, a lot of guys do that. They put it, it in their right. wife's name but, for yeah, on, uh, as well as the aggregate. Reasons. Her family gave it as, to her. As well as yeah. the aggregate, as well as the aggregate, it is believed is that, that the land is mineral rich. That's that's the other thing. So somewhere somebody knows something. That's and right. If they cause Alan enough Sands. dissension in the family, Alan and and uh, the old Dolores. gal are getting so old, they'd sell the property off, and then they get what they wanted. And yeah. I think that's there's it's all a, about the land, Bob. It, it, it's you, all yes, about the land, yes. brother. You and you and I, but it's somebody's pocketbook. Somebody's looking yeah. to get rich. And listen, in my, in, it's, I'm just guessing here, but I reckon Kusurek is behind all of this. Well, you know, brother, you could be right. I, 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 
uh, you know, I do know, I do yeah. know that Tom yeah. Kasurek. He was the shares. start of a lot of corruption. I've I've done a little bit of work on Tom Kasurek. I've done a little bit of studying about Amazing that guy. That you're nuts, he's got you. he's got many many thumbs in many many different pies. Yes, and is. a lot of it is all connected to the generation of green energy. Now the thing about green energy is the money isn't in the energy that's generated. The money is in the government subsidies for that's introducing true, yeah. that energy provision. Mm. Are you with me? So I'm with you, man. What they do is they go in, they smash the land up, they take whatever mineral wealth has out of it. They mm -hmm. need to clean the land because of the contamination from the oil, the, the gearbox fluids, the transmission fluids, the clutch About and everything else. They maybe. need to clean that. Uh, I, so I, think, they... I think that salvage yard operates the same as they do in our province. And that is a fact that they have to drain all liquids before they can put it back in the salvage yard. Yes, of course you, I do. Yeah, so, yeah. It's an yeah, environmental they're still gonna, Yeah, there's still going to be some. Yeah, before some of them, be. before some of them came that. into play, they, they weren't off. doing it, you know. Maybe, they, take off, yeah. they take off the first 12 inches yep. of Absolutely, the land. Yep. Yep. They clean the land. So they decontaminate the land. Yes. Then they, they smash the land up. 12 feet. Then they oh. smash the land up. They break it up. They get whatever minerals they can out of it. Yep. So they've got the value from the minerals, and then, then they've yep. got the then they've got the value from the aggregate, which Correct. is that's you know there is that's always going to be a market for millions. aggregate, right? What is that, Mi by the way? Can you please fill us in that don't understand what that aggregate is? Aggregate is sand and gravel, and yeah, stone, and the gravel picked ballast, up next door. Concrete, yeah. Oh, I'm in the awesome. construction business, and we oh, yeah, a yeah. lot it's, of. It's all about it's a lot all about of the hardcore. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that stuff. Okay, we, you know we we do patios, we do right. I've done cement work myself. Yeah, anybody just, doing yeah. cement, it, it, it's it's in high high Great demand. Vibes. There's right. trucks all right. over the place. Yep. Yep. So yep. first of all, home construction. Get, Okay, first thank all, you. I just wanted other people to understand what first what of all they get the income from the mineral wealth. Yeah. Then yeah. they get the income from the aggregate. Right on. Yeah. Then once they've repatriated the land, they and set nothing up left. Fucking, stripped it. Then they set up the wind farm. Yeah. And they <laughs> yeah. and they <laughs> rape and then, <laughs> and then they rape the government for every cent of subsidy. That they can get oh for introducing yeah. the oh green God. energy. Yeah, money, so money, 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 <laughs> money. Makes yeah. the world go round, unfortunately. Yeah. Follow the, follow you and I the are, money. Yeah, yeah. Follow the money. Yeah, it's very sad that uh, it does boil down to money when there are people's lives. Trees uh, hold back. Families. It's got nothing to do with Stephen. It's all it about the fucking land. Yeah, and it, it and if they can bust the family up, and they make them all hate each other. Guess they're what they're going to do? Divide and conquer. Yes, it, divide and conquer. Yes. That's what I say all the time. I, I, I sit it. here seething listening to this stuff. It just... I do I do the lottery every week. And yes. I've sworn publicly, if I win the lottery, I'm going to make a gift of $2 million to the Avery family so that they can reestablish their family, reestablish the bit the business and remain on that land. I do is I I would move heaven and hell to make sure that the county never get their fucking never hands got that on that money. land. <laughs> Wouldn't never. that be marvelous? That oh. would be that's a plan, Stan, I'll tell you. And then I would stand there and I'd piss myself <laughs> laughing. I would, I <laughs> fucking would, I swear to God. I'll drink and I'd say to them all, yourself laughing, okay? fuck <laughs> the lot of you, you're never going to get your hands on that land. I, I, would se I would secure that land for the next 50 fucking years. Yeah. That, yeah? And fuck them. Fuck the lot of them. Yeah. Well, I agree. I, 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 I think it's, it's a lot. Of, I mean, that's laudable. I mean, it's <laughs> fantastic that you're thinking that way. Somebody... Put up a hundred k for Zellner to you know to to get a lead and stuff. I yeah, mean, yeah. It, you know, it'd be nice if you had a few extra bucks you could throw her <laughs> way, and maybe I'll if you could get a little higher. Yeah, 
you know, yeah. it would be nice to see maybe someone would uh, <laughs> come forward <laughs> and give That's him the information. Thing I'd like to there are plenty of millionaires in America. Why doesn't somebody <laughs> step up and 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 and, and yeah. kind of? Do the right thing because the right thing in this case is to make sure that Manitowoc never get hold on that fucking land. Okay, this is, well, yeah, let's let's just say okay. that now. You, you fuck know. them for the next hundred years. <laughs> okay, well I don't want to. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> just let me say this: <laughs> that if uh, if um, oh my gosh, you made me lose my train of thought. Oh my lord. I can't even believe it. I don't know. Oh, if anybody know. thinks, if anybody know. thinks, you know. that, listen, I've got I gotta look at you guys because I get too distracted. I'm like, see a squirrel? You know yeah, I see a squirrel. Okay, you let me see the squirrel. was asking, do we know what kind look. of minerals are on the land? What kind I don't know, of mineral it is? Whatever, well, whatever right. in that area. Uh, usually, it's whatever in that area. You Just know, the um, aggregate alone, yeah, honest to God, yeah, Alex, is worth it. A, so a, so a so small as fortune. As but far as as, far as, as the wizard goes. said, there's so many uses. They could build homes. They could uh, build a wind farm. There's. But it's about it's, this. It's a nice, tidy little forty-five or what forty-eight. It's 40 a fancy acre plot. Yeah. You you get a a. a any kind of a builder or somebody around there, they can make a lot of creative uses out of land like oh, that. Yeah. And let me tell you, just what's in the ground and just in sand and gravel and, and all that years. stuff, we're talking lots of lots of money for the greedy guts. Yeah, yeah. But all they got to do is piss the family off so much that they they divide them all and then they and, conquer. They swoop in, scoop yeah. it up. And, uh, and that was the goal now. right from the start, Wiz. They wanted to to cause so much shit for that family that and ruin their business for what reason? So that that yeah. sheriff and his family could get control of that land or whoever the little cabal in Manitowoc mm -hmm. is. That the little, little cabal wants that. Manitowoc, yeah. ma madman. <laughs> yeah. Manitowoc, mad boss. Yeah, the, whatever. Yeah, the nude party goers. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, what? I, I just yeah. want to say this. Everybody always says, "Well, Kathleen Zellner." This is another subject because I we're moving on to things that are just anything that no, everybody talks about that I think is extremely disrespectful or completely off the wall. Mm. I'm going to speak about today. That's what this is all about. So, love her. Uh, <laughs> the Kathleen Zellner is in this for fame. This is what you need to ride because <laughs> she's already rich. How do you think she's doing this case? Because it's Kathleen coming out Zellner. her pocket. Okay. Kathleen she Zellner. has enough money to fucking sit on her ass, oh. get a, sipping margaritas and having a fanboy all day long. But she's People. doing it for Zell. For she's not doing uh, it for all right. Let me she tell believes me. in the right thing. You want to know let why? Me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to. No, I'll just be let very me finish, brief. please. Sorry. She does it for the right reasons. Reason being is that when she was a kid, she didn't like things that were bad. We already know that story, okay? But she represented a man who was very evil, Eiler, <laughs> if you remember. And yes. she could have got him off. And she didn't want to do that. Instead, she wanted to give these families peace. That's when her mind changed That's right. to yeah. this is the right thing to do. These families need peace. And this guy is evil. Okay, so she decided she would never take another guilty person. She does her research. This woman plays the best chess in the world. Fishes best. She, you know, she does it all the best. And her words are chosen very, very well. So if you think she's in it for fame, sorry. She got famous 22 cases ago. Okay. And she just wants the right thing. So, you know, she, I believe in her. And I don't believe she's just taking this affidavit for a fly-by-night like the state said. I think I'm she gonna, knows what she's doing. I want to give everybody, especially the newbies who have come into this, a little history lesson very quickly. Kathleen Zellner had money and fame long before Stephen, Ever Stephen Avery was ever even known of. Kathleen's father worked for an oil company. That man was instrumental in discovering the oil and gas deposits 
beneath the North Sea. Wow. He found a way for Britain to exploit that wealth. That the, the work that he done on it, and he, when I say he was instrumental, he was the only man apparently that was able to find a way for Britain to go out into the middle of the North Sea and drill for oil and north and, and uh, 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 natural gas. The work that he did made him an extremely, extremely wealthy man. Wow. Kathleen Zellner had money before she was even a lawyer. So she is not in this game for money or fame. She was famous long before she ever started exonerating innocent men. Her father made sure that she was very, very, very well taken care of. Kathleen Zellner has got shares in oil companies that go back decades. She's earning royalties from wells that have been operating for 40 and 50 years. Don't worry about that. Kathleen Zellner is an extremely wealthy woman without the legal business. She doesn't need to do what she does. She can sit back and relax for the rest of her life and she never need to lift a finger or get her hands dirty again in her days. Not many people know that, but her father was a big boy in the oil business. And he made, he when he passed away, he made sure that his daughter was well looked after. She's not in this for money or fame, make no mistake. So I just want to make sure that all of the newbies are aware of this. Well, this we're trying to save game. up some rabbit holes to go down, you know. Right. I mean, if you want to pick a rabbit hole, go down the one I was down for two years. And this go is ahead. all go history. Go ahead and kill yourself with the color of the This rab, is all the rab, history. The rab, the rab, the rab. This, this is all very well documented, and it can be checked. I'm yeah. not a researcher. I don't no. know how to do this. I gave that up. I've, and I, stumbled, and I yeah. stumbled upon all of this information purely by accident. By right? all the wonderful researchers we have out there. Like Ace I the do with most of the stuff that I pick up. I thought yeah. i come across it purely by accident. But she doesn't need to do this for no. wealth or fame. She was always already famous and already wealthy long before Stephen Avery come into it. So and I don't know. Get, Forget all the shit that you hear. I'm right. saying it for money. It's only well, I don't know famous. what her team consists really? of, but I'm sure it's more than two people. <laughs> um, you can bet your bottom dollar she's got the best of research, uh, the best of researchers, the best of readers, the best of you know. They got people that just sit and read these things uh, for her. You know, you got somebody that goes out and investigates. And Kirby's not Good. no joke. Okay, so there's things that she puts in place. So for them to say. Okay, now I believe, and it doesn't matter if it's Bobby or um, a, a Stephen or whoever it is, I believe in my heart and head that 33% of wrongful convictions are caused by eyewitness identification. Yeah, that's the, that's exactly All you have to do is look at what happened to confirmational bias Penny, yeah. okay, Bernstein. Yeah. She was given a suggestion. She yeah. thought that was what it was, and she believed in her heart it was. And that's called confirmational suggestive bias, okay? <laughs> it happens. It happens to more people than you'd even know. Usually, if you can take somebody and get them away in a real investigation, you try to break people away and talk to them so they can't collaborate stories. You get in the truth. The first recollection is probably going to be the most true to the event, okay? So this eyewitness thing, I don't get it. But if it is Bobby, hey, we're going to get the killer. Teresa's going to get peace. You know what I mean? Somebody really seen something, and that's good. But you can't discount him. Everybody's picking this apart because you know what? No matter what, it's added. It's a part of that layer cake that she is building with Denny's and Brady's and prosecutional mis you know, every All this is layer cakes. The more she has in there, the more they're going to have to pay attention or she'll go to a higher court who will pay attention. And she has said yeah. she wins in the higher court. Okay. It's now a long that brings game. me to this. This is four years now that she's been on the case, right? Four years. Yeah. They're about. Okay. All right. This is just the beginning, right? She hasn't even got, she says this is just like a drop in the ocean. Okay. Yeah. Well, why aren't they doing this for Brendan? 
Why aren't they taking advantage? I'm not a lawyer. I'm going to say this right in a way. I do not think they're shitty lawyers. I do not think that Stephen Tristan fucking put Brendan and none of that crazy stuff. What I want to know is why they won't answer our question is what can we do for Brendan? Why are they taking the high road for Brendan? Because what they did is like 0.03% ever get out and get that turned over, what they asked for Brendan to have done. Thank you. Why are they taking the high road when it comes to Brendan, when they should do his 976.34, whatever it is. Sean knows the statute very well. It's a 974.06. It takes 15 or more years to do this. And what are all these fucking petitions? I love Brendan. I love Brendan supporters. But I want to know what these petitions that people from out of the country are signing, which do no good. Once you do that, sorry to say, they're invalid because them are not Americans that are in America. So it doesn't make it any good. Okay. So what are they doing with them? 5,000 petitions that I've signed. What are they for? I never know what they're for. And I've asked, nobody tells me. And this governor thing, sorry, he ain't going to do it. Brendan does not, as Brendan is, we all know he's innocent. But the governor looks at him as a convicted sexual murderer, mutilator, because that's what he yeah. got. Sexual he looks thing. at that. Yeah. He doesn't look at his innocence. Okay. So he doesn't fit the criteria that they put into these are the standards you got to get. And if you look at what they're giving, it's people who have already done their time for crimes they have committed and they've been out for 10 years. Okay, that's all he's yeah. done. Okay, yeah. so and Brendan is a sexual, he's a sexual offender, he's a sexual offender, whatever you want to put on him. We yeah. know he's not, and I'm not saying he is. It is so. Don't yeah. don't guilt or think or you think that I'm saying that he is. I don't. But that's how the governor I'd, looks at him. They like look at him hear, legally. Okay, I'd so, like to hear some more. I'd like to hear some more from Bob. He's coming. He's not had an opportunity yeah. to say an awful lot. These so are come questions. Bob, your turn. Let's 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 see. Okay, it, kind of. check. <laughs> Jump in, fella. Speak your mind. Yeah. Okay. Are you muted? Can you hear us? Can you hear me, Bob? Maybe. Yeah, he can hear me. I can't hear them. Him, him though. He answered the phone. Then something happened. All oh, right. Maybe he needs to go out and come right back in because he's moving slow. Yeah, he's a bit shaky there. Can you go out and come right back in? Yeah. Okay. Right back in. Yeah. Now, like you, you just shut me up on my own channel, you know. No, sorry. Right well, in the I'm middle gonna, of I'm, something. No, I'm like in. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna shut up for a minute. I've, I've you know I need to calm I need to calm down a little bit because I'm getting a little bit worked up here. So yeah, I'm so give am I. But I want to know these things and what I'm talking about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give everybody else a chance to say something for a change. No, there he is. Yeah, there you go. Nuts! The amount of fame gurus there are. She isn't about fame. It's about not sitting back and allowing those who think they are right. in power pushing around the little guy. Yeah, yeah, and she's always been that. She's always been a defender of the underdog. Even since she, ever since she yeah. was a child, she's 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 absolutely hates bullies. She doesn't like cowards. That's right. And she will stand up okay, for those quiet, who no, are so unable. Okay, quiet now. So I can speak. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Go ahead, Bob. Well, hold on. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. I'm trying. Anybody see me? Hi. Hello. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. You can You're hear good. me. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, I, all I have to say is that I feel so sad for what they did to, to Brendan. Am I? Good. Okay. I feel so yeah. sad for what they did to Brendan. It's obvious I that the kid uh, 
I, I don't want to say stupid, but he really, really yeah. messed up. He, I don't know how anybody in could leave a child like that alone with those two sharks because they just ripped them a new one. They yeah. just uh, used and abused. I don't know. I, I can't even, I've watched tried to watch that whole interview with Brendan and those two guys and it it infuriates me what they did to that to that kid he shouldn't be in jail he's he did nothing right and uh, what they did to him is they've stolen a, a large portion of this kid's life i mean he wasn't going to be the president of any huge corporation or anything, but he could have had a life and maybe some family and stuff, and they just robbed it from him. And who, who's to know I, what it, he could have been, it's, right? It's heartbreaking. This whole story is heartbreaking. What they've it done is. to the family, Linda, you, you always mention the family. The family, in this case, has been abused, used, pissed on yeah. and and broken they yeah. they the their business was you know ruined because of this yeah yeah he Not could have been something he could have been a great four. artist he could have been a yeah. who knows he doesn't or maybe have he would have just been a junkyard owner who cares he, right nonetheless he's still a human being what and he was he has murderer. rights Right, and it would never go down. You, you, you couldn't get away with it. I've heard wizards say, children in England and in my country, Canada, right. are are protected. But even here, people slip through the cracks. Right. But we yeah. have have a system that shouldn't take this that is long. a whole family they've wiped out with this oh yeah. all in the generations name of getting a yeah. few bucks oh kelly said it right yeah i we mean should stop here's this a, branch here's a guy that here's a guy scraping together a few bucks built alan avery built yeah. a business and a family and uh uh what did he ever do in his life but work 12 hours or 14 hours a day to to support his family go out in the winter and haul in old cars and wrecks and stuff like that save save people off the side of the road and he's built himself a, a, a nice living it shouldn't it yeah. a family like this should be honored <laughs> not not torn apart that's right they should actually. They should be applauded. Somebody, yeah, somebody, fact. somewhere. There's somebody big behind this scene, and somehow I hope and pray that Zellner can expose them. This goes all the uh, way this, to the very top. I think it she starts is. Layer cake. at the top. It goes with Peg, to the top. What's her name? Log Schlinger or Peg, whatever Peg, her Peg. name Peg. is. Yeah. Oh, Peg. She Peg. was and the attorney Josh general, too, and. No, you know, it's tradition. been a big cover up from the top, but close in in Manitowoc, it's the dollars and cents of that piece of yep. property. And yep. the whiz, I'm looking at you. You and I see it exactly the same way. It's the money. When he money. told me the other day, I was like, it's all right, about wizard. the money. <laughs> they is, they wanted is, this guy's place. They were yep. a self sufficient family. Alan mm. and Dolores. It's it's it's, it's years. sickening and disgusting. Alan, yeah, Alan and Dolores. Linda, I, I've written you many things. You uh, yeah. and I've watched I've, you. I've, I've always listened. Your heart, you're spot it. on. You are spot yeah. on. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like your thinking. You got, you know, you mm -hmm. got. You're a sensible guy. It does. Having spoken to you this afternoon, Logan Schlager you know, or whatever. Yep. Her name Peg Lock yeah, Peg Lager. Yeah. 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 Well, who's what were you the saying now? I wanted to hear. It's there him. now. <laughs> He's a Democrat over there, and there, the other one was a Republican Schimmel. They're yeah. all related 
to her. What yeah, and now is not, this? we got this Josh, who's the son. The whole justice system yeah. in uh, you Wisconsin. Why your name? If you're generations? A Black son, call. That's his son. That's her son. Josh oh, Cole. Josh Cole. Josh Cole. The IG. He has a different name. The current IG it's disgusting. in Wisconsin <laughs> is Big Son, yes. Yeah. Yep. Stop the gene pool. You're right, Marine. That was exactly what it was. Or, or Marion. It they he, O'Kelly said you need to stop. Who are you to say that? These are simple people minding their own damn business. You know, you know what? I'm so sorry, but if you think about this. I, I, Stephen I, I, Avery wrongfully I, I, convicted twice. His mother, at the age of you know late twenties, early thirties, like Barb, watched her son get taken away for something yeah. he didn't do, just yeah. like Barb. Now Barb grew up with this, like Sean was saying, but now Barb is watching her there. mother's path. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Watching Linda, you wear your heart on away. your sleeve. You're a big softy. Like I do. Me. I do. But you know, I, so you're always, I also fight. You know, you're fact. always fighting for the underdog. Yeah, why not? Well, that's that's why I got into it because yeah. I watched I watched what happened uh, to Brandon. It, like it's a, what is this? Is this a is this a family picnic? Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. It is terrible what they've done. Uh, yeah, he's it a terrible that, they, that wait, we, wait. as people, they like got, none of us are very they got like well paid millions camp. of dollars. We see it and they don't. It's what it's you a, know they do. You know what? Yeah. Oh. Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> I get passionate. <laughs> oh, now I can't hear him. What'd you do? Did your, your thing come on? I can't hear you. Oh. Everyday people trying oh, to earn a, a damn living. Yep. Pay to check to paycheck. Oh, uh, and I don't hear him. Two birds, one stone. Get the land. Stop the 36 million lawsuit. Boom, bam. Mic drop, Kim. Yeah, but you know some of yours, did that law even help him? Um, the Stephen Avery law? I don't know. Can't hear you. Let me see. Talk, Bob. Yours is spot on. Can't Stephen got way too popular oh, yeah. with the new law. Go out, come back again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, yeah. this is this is this is just the way it works sometimes, Bob. Unfortunately, with 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 Streamlard, you have to, mm, yeah, you have to go it sucks. out sometimes and come back in. Yeah. Here you go, right on, Neverly. That is right, spot on. I'll tell you what. It could have been yeah. safe, healthy, happy. happy, happy I yeah. think it's very sad that you can feel sorry for for um, Mama Avery, and you can't feel sorry for Barb because she's walking in her mother's shoes, and yeah. she's seen her, and she's seen her brother go through it. So she was raised with this yeah. injustice in the family. So if you don't, if you have a heart. And you're in this for, listen, Bob said, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Every one of you do. Some of you just want to put up a wall like you don't, because I'll tell you something. You have to have a heart to want to see the right thing done. Okay. Yeah. You have to have a heart for other people. You have to have empathy. Mm -hmm. You have to have understanding and you have to have a passion, passion. to know the truth. Okay. You want to know the truth. You want to know why, you know, what has always been my thing. And I'm glad now that I'm older and I know what it's for. The thing that bothered me the most was three letters. W H Y. Why? Why, 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 why? That's what my mom said. I asked. And I remember why, why does that happen? I'm always, why do you want to support? Why do you want to support? Why? What makes you do that? That's me. And this is what pe we all are like that. We want to know. We want to know the truth. We want to see justice. And somebody's dead out there. You know, poor Teresa's dead, lost her life. Their yeah. family's okay. And there's a killer walking the streets. And how the fuck do we know if he ain't done it to little kids, grandmas, or anybody else? We have no clue. We don't no. know. That is sad that we no. would, and that's that they, that them people in that that are doing this would want to see all of this damage because mm -hmm. it isn't just putting two people in prison. 
It's possibly yeah. killing other people. It's breaking up families. It's having family people die. I mean, for what? Say for what? So your fucking chair that your fat ass sits on is cushed, and you got a paycheck, and you feel like King Kong because you can do this. Is that really some kind of person? I mean, I don't get that. No. And all of us see that. And we don't like it. So all of your softies, too, I just happen to cry and show mine. That's all. Yeah, it, it's, it fucking ruined me. Watching what happened to Brendan. I mean, I, no, I cried yeah. for a week. I, I still get upset about it now. And, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's fucking horrific to think that, yeah. that you know, that could, if, if, if I was any age, that could have been my son. Yeah, that could have been my daughter. Could have been. Could have been, it could have been us. It could. It could have been, been anyone, man. It could happen to anyone. Yeah, and it can still happen because it's uh, they're still getting away with it. So yeah. don't think yeah, yeah. they won't do it again. Just like I said, this killer, whoever it is, is a special motherfucker. Okay, they can cut a girl. They can cut her up. And they can burn her to the size of this. Okay, okay, eight millimeters to 10 millimeters where's the size of her bones do you know how fucking small that is okay and you're a girl i don't care she could have been four foot that's still real small okay and there's yes. no there's no there is nothing you know other that every single aspect of this is wrong it's wrong and it can continue to go on and it can continue it could happen to my grandchildren it could happen to your yeah. grandchildren it could happen to you tomorrow it could happen to me today i don't know but i'm telling you what when you steven said it poor people will lose every time they will poor people lose all yeah. you watch yeah. epstein who was a fucking famous pedophile with all these girls pimping them out and all this other stuff and that guy got off and went home and got 18 months with a bracelet on. I think she was cremated. I do too. Or either that or I think yeah. she was on the quarry on the belt going psh, 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 yeah. with the rock yeah. crusher. Yeah. yeah. I do. I mean, that's, you know, I got wild thoughts, but and some people think she's alive. I mean, I know somebody who thinks she's alive, and I respect that because scientifically, you know, that uh seven loci does not does not cut it especially yeah. nowadays you yeah. know no, but, but they didn't know control. nothing about dna back then but they knew enough that if they're gonna plant they're gonna use all the samples up didn't they so yeah, they might have been well, flying by the night of by, by the fucking seat of their pants when they made this crime and i've always said this but they had made sure that down the line stephen could not get out because of something because they made sure there was nothing for them to get yeah, they, they knew they yeah. knew that DNA got them off the first time. That's right. So yeah. they were they made sure that DNA but they forgot wasn't about the wooden bullet and the wooden time. girl they shot. They forgot Playing about the red wooden girl they shot. The yeah, red I wooden mean, girl. She was wearing yeah. a red dress. Might have been with little red riding hood. That's who I think it was. Yeah. That you part so, like a gnome, you know, the kind you put in your yard. Yeah. Oh, and the God, fact that they gave God, away God. the bones <laughs> shows that it couldn't be tested. Well, you know, I'm sorry. That's what that microscope that can see up your uh, fucking pore in your skin and see where your yeah. where your hair grows and every which way. That thing got zoomed down and it might have been a little red riding hood statue that fucking bullet shot. Because the guy <laughs> said he shit he shot all over that land. You know what I mean? Because it certainly wasn't nobody wasn't killed in that garage either. And that's something that I love that the state stuck to. That she died with that bullet in that garage. Well, you're gonna that is not hard for uh Kathleen Zellner to prove that did not happen. <laughs> okay, with the bullet. And no blood or no DNA on the floor. Listen, how many months later did they find that bullet? Four. four. Yeah. Okay. Four months. Yeah. That's what I thought. And it was in a crack. Sure. Where's the in suit pictures? Some bitch when you're filming when you went in the first time. Why weren't you filming when you were finding it? But then according yeah. to Ronnie Johnson, it Ronnie fell down Johnson. His leg, right? Ronnie Johnson was shooting, was shooting gun, was shoot, firing bullets into the garage, and he reckons oh, yeah. he fired thousands, yeah. thousands of rounds. He said he discharged on that um, land. I um, might have bricks. Drive past with some people. Oh, that's why I can't speak. All oh, right, right. Why? Why? 
You're at home with people? You have people at your house? I'll show you later. Oh. <laughs> okay. BS the bullet. I get you. BS the bullet. 94. It was 95. I, it was 1985 when they started. I think I bet you any money when Stephen Avery had to take over the um, shop for his dad when his dad got sick and Steve quit school, you know, and that's when they said, well, that's the kid that we're going to have to pick on because he's going to be out doing some hell because he gets to, does nothing but have responsibilities and it's hard for him to be a teenage boy. So he's going to go out and do things with his friends like break into a local bar. And really, how innocent is that? A six pack of beer, a couple sandwiches. I don't say what sandwich. teenager doesn't uh, chance? I mean, walk. are you serious? You My know, grandmother I mean, owned a bar a century, in right? Lake, <laughs> and she had a little bar, and it was she rented out fishing boats, and she had bait and beer and sandwiches and pizza. And if she would have got robbed, and that's all they took was a six pack of beer and a sandwich, you know my what? auntie, my huh? grandma would have said, "Oh, come on, I'll just leave you a box outside the door. You don't got to break it down next time." I'm gonna, st I'm gonna steal this six pack of beer but i don't like to drink on an empty stomach so i'm That's gonna take right. this cheese sandwich as cheese well sandwich when you got a whole pizzas and steak sandwiches <laughs> and no, i don't want to take ones that are expensive a 10 cent that's sandwich ridiculous. is too much you know i mean seriously these are that's just something people do some maybe some people don't but look at i was a girl and i did weird shit me and my girlfriend broke into some tray uh I mean, didn't break into him, but we walked into him. The door was open and there were a model home. And we used to play house in there. I'm not kidding you. And that place was supposed to be people were coming in and looking at it. And I was looking at it like, oh, this is a cool ass house. Nobody lives here, but look at the furniture is nice. And we, we had a good time playing real true love life house. You know what I'm saying? Like we bring food over and cook it there. <laughs> it was, you know, until we got caught. <laughs> and then we didn't even get in trouble. They just said, you know, you can't do that. Okay, I'm sorry. I was so scared. My, I mean, I had, you know, red hair, freckles, and my face turned about as red as my fucking hair when I got caught doing something. So, I mean, I was, a, you know, oh, my God, I can't do that. <laughs> then I turned up and grew up and got heart. And I learned the side of the law that's not so great. You know, I mean, I have never been in prison or nothing like that, so I'm not worried about that. But you see reality for reality. Yeah. We've all done shit things. We, we've all done right. silly things. But I when see, we are, I, you know. I think every one of us should just not hate on each other. So what if that person's got 5,000 more tweets than you do? So what if that person's got 10,000 subscribers and you don't? You know what I mean? We're all on the same path, okay? We yeah. all want it to come to the end where justice is served. Peace, I don't think we'll ever get. <laughs> but you know what? Let's not let's not do what the fam what one family member is doing to the other family members. They have enough issues. You know, like Sean said, let's be kind to Barb. Let's leave her alone unless you got some legal proof. You know, same for Bobby. You can think that I hey, look, I'm thinking it the guy's seen it, but I also am thinking that what are the chances of it being wrong? Why did he only say something about it? After ma'am, too. There's other questions, but I'm not saying he didn't see that rat. He might have seen somebody, like I said, the L, the law got somebody that looked like Bobby and maybe looked, tried to look like Steven or something so he could, so they could, somebody could see him. You know what I'm saying? The important thing for me about Sawinski was yeah. his first statement mm -hmm. where he said categorically it was not, not Brendan. Brendan. Right. Right. But and even if he it was, that? you've got to ask yourself, why the fuck, if Brendan was part of the crime, would he be pushing the rev onto the fucking yard? How does that make any sense? It doesn't, <laughs> does it? <laughs> it's like, Steve, oh, <laughs> I've just killed this woman. I burnt her in the quarry. Yeah, come on you in. know what? <laughs> come on I in. like the look of her bones. I'm yeah. going to decorate my fucking garden with them. Yeah? yeah. Really? Have, have, have Remaker and Link come on in and say, oh. hey, yeah, I just, you know, she's missing today. So have you seen that girl? Uh, come on in. You see nothing but dirt in this house. You don't see no crime scene. I've always said, where's the crime scene? Where's the crime scene? Where's the crime scene? Well, I kind of think it's at Cuss Road or the quarry or something where you're around in that area. I do believe that. But I don't even necessarily think she died on the 31st. I try to take it away from the state's narrative. You know, because 
old sweaty boy himself. How many you ever think any favorite? justice is going to be made? But There's Kenny, all, Ken yeah. Kratz himself has said he doesn't know when she died. They don't know when she died. No, and he's that. admitted yeah. that. So, you know, he's, he's claimed that she was dead on the 31st or whatever. Yes. I mean, you know, he's full of shit. Well, he argued it to, to him in court. If he thinks that she wasn't, if she was still alive on the 4th, blah, 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 blah. You know how Kratz is stumbling for words there. But, okay, do you, okay, what do you think is going to happen? If anything, to anybody, any of the players, do, if, do you think that it'll get to the level where they might be prosecuted? Any of them? No, I don't think it'll ever happen. I think what we'll be looking at is a trial force situation where mm -hmm. they're forced to release them, but say, well, listen, we can't retry yeah. them because we don't think, you know, we don't have the evidence to do that, but right. we got the right guy. We had oh. the right man. Yeah, the evidence know? has been lost or it's old and we can't prove And it that. will be it will be that comment that keeps Brendan locked up. Mm. Yeah. Because I've been telling everybody as much as I love Brendan and I fight they for have Brendan, a vested it's not a guarantee in maintaining that conviction. They have a vested interest in maintaining a, a conviction. Mm -hmm. If they can't get both of them, they only need one against the Avery family right. are you with me and that way it justifies them in everything that they've done but not remove the conviction I mean, um uh, that's that's what a trial uh trial four is right he's going yeah. to remove that yeah. yeah and i believe that too once i seen trial four yes. i didn't get it at first but then i watched it again and i thought you know what this guy's because i didn't realize how long he was out you know waiting to go to court for him to get retried yeah. okay yeah. i was like Wow, wasn't it like something like 10 years or 16 years or something like that? I mean, it was a very long time. I know that that he waited before he got totally, you know, told he can walk, but the conviction's still there, you know, which is better than never, plea, right? Or not? Can you not hear me? Sorry, I, I, I was I was typing away. I didn't get you there, Linda. Sorry, love. I, I do apologize. That's all right. At least you're honest about it. I said, do you think is it is it's better than an Alfred plea by them doing that, right? Well, it's better for Stephen, yeah, but <laughs> um, but it'll still be on his record. But he can fight for it to get off of his record after he's out. Well, once he's exonerated, I mean, technically, he's he's an innocent man and still proven guilty. Right. right, so well, they would have wait to. A minute, wait a minute, we've seen how that worked the first time. Let's not. Let's do that in reverse. You're guilty till I prove till I prove myself innocent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Until everybody in the world proves me innocent. Okay, that's another thing. Uh, and I, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think it would matter if he was exonerated. There will still be people in in, in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. who will believe that Stephen's guilty simply because of all of the lies spouted by the states. And the general rule is, whoever lies first wins. Right. It's just like whoever makes the deal first gets the best deal. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> so. I, I think they'll be forced into a situation where they have to release him. I think but I want to hear Alice tell us what she Yeah, thinks. I would love think? to. Yes, yes. She hasn't said a word. Alice, you got to get up and get loud like you used to. B bitch, I'll, I'll talk to Paul Ice on you. <laughs> Paul is. Paul is. The Paul is. Paul The Paul is. Ah, the Paul is. <laughs> all wrong yeah. in that. No, I mean, I agree with, with uh, a lot. Be nice if he would get out. It would yeah, be really yeah. nice if he would get out. But I just get them will. out. Just yeah. it would be get nice them out. if he get out and be cleared. Just, I mean, yeah. just, when, just get them out. The yeah. fight to clear to, them can continue, but they need to get out. Right. That's the that's and Brendan especially because Brendan is one hundred percent innocent of anything he's you know, never had any problem with the police he's never abuse. hurt anybody straight up he that certainly was does abuse. not fucking deserve to be where and he now is. it's just you plain inhumane cruelty that yeah. is there bring him home yeah he needs to come home okay well that's another thing i don't think we're loud enough about 
this because you know public opinion can do a lot so i think we should as individuals if we want to see something done maybe check out a ways that us as a group of people who believe this could do something outside i'm not talking emails somebody's already doing that and they are having a hard time with it but it's the effort that matters okay so there's got to be something that we can do to get more awareness and it's just us talking. I mean, I don't know. I've got 21 people in here. That ain't shit. I don't get a big audience, but I don't care because I talk about supporters and, the, you know, that kind of thing. But I am willing to jump on any truth train, okay, and meet up with anybody that, you know, can make a difference in this. There's got to be some way. There's got to be somebody in our audience or somebody that knows something that knows how what steps to take to make a difference, okay? Yeah. Because I'm not here just to talk to you guys, although I love you all. I'm here to try to make a difference. And I think we all feel that way. We want to see change. We want to see something happen. <laughs> you know, we want change. Yeah. You know, I, I believe that. So there's got to be somebody out there with some good ideas on something. You know what I mean? To make a change. Why are you staring straight like that? Like, are you just like got yeah. something you want to say? I mean, let her rip, wizard. When it comes, I mean, look, it, you when know, it comes, it's, when I, it I, I'm just, I've, I've got to give my brain a rest for a moment because I've gotten so worked up. I've got a lot on my mind at the moment, anyway. And this, this whole situation for me is just one massive brain fuck since 19 for since 2016 and it's uh, it's driven me mad for the last five years and I, I, i'm my frustration's getting to me a bit because what fucks me off the most about it is that the people in america you know they just uh, that they can either see it and they don't care or they can't see it and you know they've got no idea of the corruption yes. involved he needs keeping to get these out. two guys in prison. It's, well, that's, it's, it's bad. It's that's fucking exactly bad. That was if it's no happening in the, to them and their family, then they're no fucking interested. It's not interested. their problem. Yet. It's not their problem. You know what I mean? So, and I mean, uh, to, to, to get the changes that are needed, it has to be the people over there that stand up and scream yeah. and shout and bring this to the forefront. I mean, it's all right us here in the UK coming on and do things like this and putting a voice world to it. World support and is important. the world over here and everything like that. But for the real change, there needs to be more uproar on the other side of the fucking pond. You yeah, know what I, I agree. mean? There is just not I absolutely enough agree. uproar yeah. over there on the I justice agree. system and the way the justice system works over there. Because hey, I live right next door to that stinking ass corruption fucking state. Oh, okay, I'm it telling bugs you. me. It bugs I me. I want to see something deal. done. My it state doesn't a, work like that, but my state's me worse. A, it bugs <laughs> me a great deal that there seems to be more people outside of America who seem to have hello, who bing, seem bing, to bing. you know be concerned about all of this, and yet the people in America who this shit affects. On a daily basis, yeah. every fucking day, yeah. they're, they're turning a blind eye to it. We oh, need more you. people in America to look at what's going on to Fuck get yeah. to, to become concerned about it because That's it right. could happen to any of your yeah. children. That's right. Yeah. I'm it trying to say that. To I'm saying somebody out there's got members. to make a. Tell me what I'll do. The shit. If you know how I can make a fucking difference, and you can hook me up, tell me, give me a, a slightest hint. I'll try to figure that shit out. Okay. All I'm saying is something has got, we are a public awareness right now. There are, there's power in people and, and what they fight for. There have been proven things that have been done by people <laughs> and by the public. So what can we do? I mean, Ryan Ferguson was done by the public in a good way. His father went out and, you know, got a car and did all this. Well, we've got, you know, billboards and people are doing things, you know, so it's not like they're standing still. I'm not saying that. I think everything we do, no matter how big or small, it matters. Yeah. But I don't, I think the petitions we sign, they should, I should know what it is that we're doing. Are we trying to get a bill? 
Are we trying to get a law changed? Are we trying to do something with them? Or is this just saying that we're angry? Because I'll tell you what, we can all write letters saying we're angry every single day. But what is that going to do? If yeah, you don't have a demand of what you want done. Okay, yes, we want Brendan out. But that's more than that. We don't want this to ever happen to people again. Okay, yeah. we want them to know that what they did is child abuse. What they did is wrong. Is the way the techniques they had. Yeah. That what they've done to Stephen is wrong. What the people above them arresting and investigating yeah. are wrong. They're allowing this. In light of everything that's it's going on in America. Not our civil moment, right. You've got the George Floyd business and everything else. There's the other guy in Louisiana, Ronald Green, who was killed by the state troopers. Listen, this could happen to anyone in America. Oh, fuck yeah. Law enforcement. I know somebody just got shot by cops. Law okay? enforcement have got no fucking regard for the public. They because only the public has no regard for the police. More people in America <laughs> need to rise up, make yeah. their voices heard, and yeah. let the people in power know how yeah. dissatisfied they are with the shit that's going on in their name and that they are paying for. Listen, they yeah. are paying for the abuse Mar that Mar they are enduring. That it right here, Marine. Or I'm so sorry. I'm just going to say Marine. MC. Yeah, I never get her. I butcher her name every time, but I gotta. I've, I've got to say what she said right here because it makes a difference, and I've been saying it for a long time. It says it, it, she says up here. Do you think it's because you're all in different states? Yes, I do. Why? Because in every state, we're governed state by state. That means Minnesota doesn't allow you to do what they did to Brendan. You cannot do that. You cannot. You have to call your the parents in order to even see them, get permission, all that shit. That don't happen here, okay? Uh, but it does right next door. I can go 15 minutes and be in the next state, and it happens, okay? We are, every state has its own shit, own state laws, own state courts, own, and if you're not straight across the board, you're going to have this shit because nobody... This state won't interfere with that state for doing it wrong. Yes. It's not because that's yes. their state. That's not even no matter what I think, that's the way their states run. Are if really, we're not straight across the board, it'll always be that way. Are we really, will always really have wish, conflict. I really, really wish more people in Wisconsin would find the courage that their parents instilled within them, stand up and make a stand against the people. It when people in Wisconsin start to do this and start to make noise about it, the rest of America will be able to take notice of what's going on in Wisconsin, and that well, will start. Simple people in the Midwest. That okay, will we need start to be told what to do. I need to know what will, to do. It will spread yeah. like a virus. We're seeing it all over America at the moment, right. where law enforcement departments, sheriff's departments, district attorneys and prosecutors' offices are taking mm -hmm. absolute fucking liberties with people's lives. Because they're allowed to do whatever different things in different states. If you don't have the same laws in every state, you're going to get a... Look at and paid, paid prisons. Who does that? Yeah, that and is that's, straight up Linda, the fucking corruption. That's just what they're allowed that's to right. do. That's without all the misconduct. That's right. without all the shit that goes on underneath the table. People Every wrongful need conviction. to start paying attention to what's going on. Stand up and yep. let their bosses and let their governors and let their governments know it is unacceptable for the government to treat the people of America in this way. That's what I want it to do. It won't I stop. It will never stop until the people let the governments know that it has to end. Yeah. Only then, well, I wanna, I only then I to. will we see change. <laughs> you the know, more people we can educate about this, the better. We yeah. need to make more noise. We need to need to make a lot more noise. It, it's we do. sad, and that's it's just what I said. Sad. I really, I really, really, really agree with everything you said. I do, and I just don't think that we're we're going to be able to get a handle on this unless we start realizing that you can't have it 
different ways in different no, states. I mean, you're, you can't. Going to, it makes no sense. I don't care. It doesn't make it's sense. Even We're not Scotland. closed borders. We're not closed borders. So I don't know the laws over there, okay? So I go over there on vacation and they want to take my kid in. They can do that? Yeah, they can, okay? Because I'm over there. So there's not borders that stop us. So you need to have the same kind of laws or you're just going to have this fucking fucked up confusion and people doing their own thing. And this governor runs his shit this way because nobody's accountable except for the people that are in this tree of fucking power and the people that are around it feeding the power got no say because they'll tell you a good fucking yeah. little speech. And you're because your grandpa believed in that and your grandma believed in that and that. That's how you believe because we're simple fucking people and we believe that. Okay. That's the kind call us sheep, whatever it is. I don't, there's a lot of people like me that don't. Okay. But most of farmers and that their farms are run by the government. Okay. They're going to either make money that year or they're not. They're going to either there's eat more, or they're not. There's more money in government subsidies to farmers than there is in the actual farming. Right. Like, like BB was saying that the milk starts in Milwaukee or it, yeah, in Milwaukee there, that's where the prices are the low or the lowest. So that's what the farmers are making there. And then it goes up in other States because they can tax it, do whatever they want. Right. Well, when you got that kind of thing going on, it's going on in everything. Okay. It's going on in every single thing you do. The dollar is the only thing that's making it work. Okay, when people start realizing that we need to start taking care of the people so we can have peace and we won't have to spend this money on, uh, you know, people getting shot and this and that. And our starts looking at the people as the people speak like they're supposed to. We're supposed to be the voice of our government. We're not. There is a belief, not at all. There is a belief in America that the people are in charge. Well, the mm -hmm. people in America need to stand up and they need to take control of the situations, the government mm -hmm. institutions and the systems which govern them. They need to stand up and start making noise about it now. They yeah. need to make enough noise to create enough nervousness at the top of the tree so that the people at yeah. the top of the tree think, hang uh -oh. on a minute, we Little have to change again. something here. Must yeah, be. but a lot of people need to open their eyes and their ears and that and all and know that the police do lie, they do cheat, they do cover things up, especially when it's cover, trying to cover their own fucking arses. They will cover it up, you know what I mean? And not only that, the, the way people are elected, or not even elected, they're picked. Because wee Bobby for the McDougall family, his grandfather and his father and his father's father yeah. were police officers or a district attorney. or yeah. So he'll yeah. do a good job because his father and that done a good job. But how corrupt in that were the fathers and the father's yeah. father and everything like that before them? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. the, the whole process needs to be looked at. And the, it needs to be the people's yeah. decision. You know what I mean? So is that whoever's running for a judge, say Judge Smithy doing, doing the road is want to run for a judge. Well, look at his background. Look at what his uh, abilities is. Look at what his education is. What has he done for people in the community? Has he actually done things for people in the community that actually works? And vote them in that way. You know what I mean? Not just because we Bobby's daddy was, was, was a good sheriff 10 years before that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, listen, guys. We've been on here now for two and a quarter hours. I'm 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 exhausted. I'm <laughs> absolute, I'm burnt out. I'm, I'm really sorry, Annie. We can do this again next week, Linda. I'm we do whatever you want to. I told can, you, you got a can, platform to talk on. We can we can pick this up any time. But I yeah. think what we need to do is we need to calm it down for the time yeah. being. I think we should kind of call it a day there. We can always come back and revisit this any time we like, okay? A good I'm, open discussion. I'm, I'm absolutely burnt out. Well, you I need, need to go sleep. get some sleep. I need. I, it's been a long day, yeah. So, look, if it's all right with you, I'm going to slip away. Oh, yeah. go right ahead, honey. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll call it. Yeah, it's been a long time. A lot of people won't rewatch two hours worth, but I, all mean, right. I, well, I appreciate all your passion from everybody. Thank you, Bob, for being your Alice, Bob, you too, love. Wiz. Thank you, brother. You thank know, you, mate. 
Let it's me just a, say, Wes, you know, you, you were talking about it and I said, you got a platform, you know, you always do. So thank you. Dolly. I you back, I'd brother. like to thank, yeah. I'd like to thank you, Bob, for coming on and, yeah. and you know, give it sharing in what's going on. Mm. You're welcome. I'd love to, we'd love to chat with you again. Um, hopefully you might be able to, um, um, sort yourself out there a little bit better so that you don't come across quite so, you know, but you know what I mean, didn't you? Um, it's been a pleasure having you. It's been lovely speaking to you. I'm glad to have met you. Alice, thanks for coming on, sweetheart. I'm glad you didn't bring those chains with you because I would have had to have gotten my whip out. Yeah. She got the polies. <laughs> I listen. Promises, Waza. Promises, promises. I listen. Don't tempt me. To, don't tempt me. <laughs> I want to thank everybody in the chat. Yep. I haven't been able to follow it because I've been too it's, wrapped up me in what's neither. going on here. It's been too passionate. I love everybody. I love every yeah. single one of you. I want yeah. to thank you all for being here. I know I can be a bit of an arsehole and I make a lot of noise sometimes, but thank you for listening. Thank you for for taking part. And we I hope we can all do it again. It's been a pleasure. Linda, thank you, yeah. darling. Bob, love you thanks, fella, for coming in. I really appreciate yeah. it. Alice, I love you, baby. Uh, yes, right back right, out, Wes, yeah. thanks, Wes. And I hope we can do it much. again. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yes, anytime pleasure. you know that. I'm thanks, open guys. Anytime. Thank you very much. All right, Bye. Bye, Bye. All right, guys. I am going to say, oh, Spidey, okay. Stay spicy, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Wes. Anytime. Alice, my pleasure. sister. You thanks, know, everyone. and everybody thanks, in chat, everyone. thank you very much for participating. I'll look at some of these questions and things later on I'll and read see through the chat. And we'll yeah. talk about it next time okay yeah. so yeah lovely thank you so much for participating and letting us just air what everybody says in other directions yeah. <laughs> so all right guys and listen before i go for one last time leave bob, bob alone, alone. <laughs> leave her alone